Hi Vots channel, how are you guys doing? And welcome to Hollow Body as well as a bunch of other games. Let's go say hi YouTube. Hello, hello YouTube. How are you guys doing? And welcome to the coziest title screen of any game ever. We are playing many new horror games today. It's Horror Night Marathon. Uh, we have six games on the chopping block today. It is also Steam Next Fest, which means there have been so many demos released. So we're going to take a little peek into the future and see uh, what's to come in the horror genre. It's going to be fun. Uh, starting with this one right here, which I love this title screen so much. It's a rainy, lovely goodness. Uh, and it is by the creator of Chasing Static, which is like a really cool indie game we played a while ago. Uh, it is kind of like Resident Evil, I think, in a way. Also, they used the word play, or they used the playable teaser at, instead of demo, which I find clever because it makes me think of PT, and I love PT. Uh, but anyway, I think we're just going to hop straight in and have some fun. Hope you guys are all doing mighty fine today. I'm doing wonderful. And, uh, let's hop straight in. Here we go. Hollow body. I'm about to press shift to start. Shift to start game. Here we go. This is a work in progress. Yes, here we go. Showcase the core mechanical and visual features of hollow body. Various narrative and gameplay elements have been modified for the purpose of this demo. Please consider wish listing. Yes, indeed. I have already done that. Quiet. Oh, here we go. Warning. Severe weather conditions identified. <laughs> you think? What gave it away? I love the voice acting. Several of my atmospheric sensors are reading concerning levels That was a of... rhetorical question, Beeb. <laughs> I recommend that we establish a safe landing zone with the utmost urgency. It's alright, we will. We're about three miles out from where Sasha was posted. You think you can hold on? Chad, there is a statistical sentience. probability that ignoring these warnings may result in an incident with fatal repercussions. Sorry, I am unable to process your request. The, the, the root function Beep? termination is protected and will require admi administrator report. Uh oh. Someone hacked into the mainframe. We are in a flying car or something? Damn, that was a pretty lucky landing. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go. Like cyberpunk uh, futuresque type stuff going on here. Damn, this is cinematic as hell. Love the looks of that car. We got plot armor, yeah. That would be a short game if we died right there. I woke to the ac acrid smell of an electrical fire, rain pounding on the cracked windshield of my hover. This game knows the joy of a good rain sound effect, and I am a rain enjoyer. I tried to call for help, but my radio couldn't catch a signal through the storm. Sasha was out there somewhere. If we were to stand any chance of getting out of here, I'd need an evac plan. I had to find a vantage point some someplace high enough to get a signal through on my radio and call for help. Oh, it's just it's the cal most calming noise of all time. I mean, only when you're inside. This wasn't over. Especially in combination with thunderstorms. Oh, here we go. It's mega cozy. System critical and a bunch of other stuff. Okay. Oh, we got tank controls, I see. I'm a tanky boy. Uh, I look a little hurt. Am I like an AI or do I have like a... Wait, can I see my face? I want to see my face to see if I wear like a vision... Some kind of goggles? Because why am I getting critical errors when I'm outside? I thought that was part of the ship interface, not of my own person. Maybe I'm a cyborg? I don't know. This door looks very appealing to me. I'm trying to get in here. It's probably going to say nothing. Oh, we have a flashlight. A red flashlight? Interesting. Press F to switch your torch on and off. I am 10 steps ahead of you. Can I also crouch? Can I sprint? I cannot sprint. Maybe later. Damn, dude. It's ominous. She's very tall. Is that just me? Or does she look extremely tall? Maybe people in the future are taller. Uh, oh, it's like a different camera angle, I see. Press E to interact when seek is displayed. 
Med kit. Oh, it's Resident Evil style. A medical repair spray has been left at the back of the ambulance. Take the repair spray. Absolutely. I see. Can I use it by pressing tap? We got danger. You have an area map. Uh, all kinds of other stuff. I would like to use an item. I got a gun, but it's empty. Okay. Dude, this interface is insane. Uh, repair spray. Yeah, yeah, let's use that. Use. And now I can run because I'm healed, baby. Also, oh, interesting. My light changes color based on, based on my health condition. You see that? Because now it's, uh, fine. Instead of being red. I'm gonna run past. Yeah, there we go. I wanna explore around. Is there, is there an evil eye in the background? There is an eye in the background. I'm assuming this is because I'm like... This is like my eye of the character. What does it say over here? Stop. Hammer time. No, radioactive time. Okay. I will run the other way then. It's actually terrifying. I was watching some videos about... Like, uh, some guy who put his hand in, like, a particle accelerator, and he only... I think he didn't die, but he lost his hand 600 days later in, like, the most fucked up, like, turn of events of, like, a whole bunch of weird sicknesses. Radioactivity is so scary because you'll be, like, irradiated and have no idea. You'll go home, feel totally fine, and then a week later your hand be, like, like a... Throw, grow like seven new fingers and it'll be like completely fucked up. It's like a silent killer. It's terrifying. Oh, mighty darn. Thank you for the gifts up. Uh, this place looks a little fucked up. What is this? It's like a mech. Oh, that's cool looking. Sorry, I'm, I'm rotating my camera a little weird. Music, man. I'm just enjoying. An hour or miles. What are the so the street signs in Europe usually round to the nearest like 10? There must be street signs in the US that are like 15 or I mean I guess sometimes you see a five in there. But there must be like weird rounding because a mile is so much longer than a than a kilometer. What am I doing? See looks like the street was intentionally closed off. But what were they trying to keep out? What were they trying to keep out? Need to get a signal through to Turks. Need to get a signal. I saw an apartment block nearby. That should have roof access. I see. Can I turn up the audio for just the volume? There we go. I'm gonna turn down the music. <laughs> Scariest options menu of all time just dropped. <laughs> I was just trying to change the audio, man. I was making sure we could hear. Okay, so we need to go up on an apartment building. This is these are not apartment buildings. These are just row houses or whatever. Uh, that's an apartment building over there, but can we go that way? That's all the way off in the distance. Maybe go towards the light that's usually light. That's usually how these games work. Yes, up here, apartment. I'm loving the vibes, though. These places, they're like, I don't know, these gives me like, especially when they are like stone at the bottom, these give me like dystopian vibes. The, <laughs> the like children's playgrounds that do not feel welcoming in the slightest. Can we go in? Maybe have to, ooh, what the hell? My game just moved to the camera and then immediately put me back. I don't know what I just did. Do I have to go the other way? Silent Hill aesthetic. I still... They're, they're releasing Silent Hill 2. They released like a demo for the new Silent Hill remake. And it got probably some of the worst reviews I've ever seen. Yeah, there's an open window. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Um, oh, here we go. Do I push this? Aha! Strong. Apparently it's like super cringe and annoying. The new Silent Hill teaser. Maybe I want to play it anyway just to make fun of it. But I'm not sure. Uh, how do we climb? Oh, I press E to seek. Seek, seek for everything. I thought it was going to do like... I was going to just press space bar. And then we go in through.
through the window. I just have to, like, set up my PS5, because I still have it in the box for when okay. Phasmo console finally Time releases. To find a way up to the roof. I'm gonna find a way up to the roof. It's like old-timey graphics, but still good-looking. Because some, like, when it's super old-timey, the game looks so ugly that it's sometimes a little distracting. But this looks totally fine. Various old boxes and empty paint cans just junk. A storage box locked with a large padlock. Maybe I can find a way to pry it open. Ask the lockpicking lawyer. You are using a master lock. You can open it with another master lock. Just smack it against it. It'll open. I've watched these TikToks before. Uh, we, we used, used to, to be happy. You guys seen those too? Those are like all over my recommended right now. They know me. <laughs> the lock is blocked with some kind of expanding foam. Interesting. Oh, oops. I clicked it again. Mr. I'm not on TikTok. Well, like, I have the most fucked up way to watch TikToks. It's by watching them on YouTube shorts. So then they're, like, cut off. They're, like, awkwardly cut off at the minute mark. Because on YouTube shorts, you can only have a minute. So you're like, what the fuck happened? I have no idea. <laughs> it's so confusing. But I will ref I refuse to use TikTok. So go fuck yourself. <laughs> To switch your flashlight on. Oh god, it's getting spooky. Opening. This is like future. Because there's like a. Look at the entry, the door lock here. That is so futuristic, but then the place itself looks mega fucked up. Are we finding something? Check the toilet. There's usually some shit in the toilet. Just useless junk. Me when I look in the. No, I was. <laughs> I'd love to wash my hands, but there's no water. Not that I trust the water anyway. That's too real. I mean, YouTube shorts do be kind of crazy. Probably not as crazy as TikTok. Maybe crazier, because there's less, like, less people care about it. Gross. I'm not going to touch any of this. That oh, is just food. It's so comfy in here. I wish I could hear the rain on the, on the window. It's empty. I'm assuming we're looking for literally basically anything. Nothing useful, just some clothes. So we got into this. Is there anything in this? <laughs> it's filthy. No way I'd sleep on something like that. Dude, you're actually like roasting me right now. This is this is my room review. Just useless junk. No way I'm sleeping on this bed. All right, I guess there's nothing here. <laughs> Average Twitch streamer room. <laughs> most clean Twitch streamer room. The door is shut with an electronic lock. Okay, I get it. Average Dutch apartment. Red means we can't go here. But is there any secrets? Just some old trash. All right, I get it, I get it. I need to find the way up, right? That's what you asked me. But what about the power box? Are we not gonna open the power box anymore? There must be something in, that was the only apartment we could get into and there's just nothing there. She is tall. Excuse me? Who did that? What was that noise? Oh, the door is locked, but it's open. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm just enjoying walking around here. Okay, this place is mega abandoned. Are we in like Chernobyl or something? There's a letter though. Document added. Doc. Mika, honey, you might want to be sitting down for this one. I took the job. I know how you feel. I care about how you feel, but this is too important to me. I'm losing sleep over this shit. I keep running it through my head over and over each time I feel like there's a piece missing. You said you didn't understand, but I don't need you to understand. I just need to need you to know that this isn't about you and me or some one-way trip. I'm not going there to die. I'm going because I need to know something. The team's all checked out. We've got a way in and and an afternoon to find something concrete. We'll be in and out before you know it, and this whole thing will be just another job. Please don't hate me. I love you. Oh, we got newspaper? When did we pick this up? Or oh, this is what we just picked up. This is, oh, this is her letter. Did we already have this? I'm assuming we are Sa Sasha then? Mika, honey? So she sent this to someone else, and she's taken the job? 
Interesting. And then this is what we just picked up, I'm assuming. Newspaper, November 16th. Social enrichment. This is a long one. Social enrichment charity Sherwood announces monumental investment to revamp Barnston. In okay, it's just a bunch of newsletters. Maybe some world building. Let's see here. 2063. That's the year. In a groundbreaking move set to redefine Barnston's landscape, Sherwood, a philanthropic organization, has declared plans for a transformative investment aimed at revitalizing the city's infrastructure. The initi initiative aims to usher in a new era of prosperity, promising job opportunities and mo modern transit systems in a city marred by economic struggles and social challenges. I see. Sarah Reynolds, do we have the for inquiries? Look at that long ass email. Info at SherwoodStageManagement.com Sherwood's plan not only underscores their dedication to social welfare, but also highlights the potential for private entities to play a pivotal role in uplifting communities facing socioeconomic challenges as plans unfold, anticipating mounts, anticipation mounts for the monumental changes that lie ahead for the city of Barnston. So I'm assuming we are the city of Barnston, right? Um... Let's see what the see. Let's just read it. In a statement released by Sherwood CEO Sarah Reynolds, the organization expressed its commitment to fostering positive change. We believe that every community deserves a chance to thrive. Our investment in Barnston aims to create a substantial and vibrant future for its residents by ad addressing the systemic issues that have held the city back for far too long. You already said that, though. The announcement sparked enthusiasm among residents, business businesses and officials mayor robert thompson hailed it as a turning point welcoming sherwood's commitment and the transformative potential sherwood's plan not only underscored their dedication to social welfare but also highlights the potential for private entities to play a pivotal role in uplifting communities facing socioeconomic challenges as plans unfold anticipating mounts so you're just anticipating anticipation mounts for monumental changes that lie ahead for the city of barnston Okay, this is just one PR mumbo jumbo, but they're doing something with the city, I'm assuming. So some important changes to the infrastructure or whatever. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that is a sticky place. Oh, it's a dead person with a VR headset? It's the Apple Vision Pro, bro! Me, when I use the Apple Vision Pro far too long and I shit myself? A key card is grasped in the body's hands. Take the room key, yes. <laughs> Wait, this is actually like literally a VR headset though. <laughs> Damn, dude. Are you gonna say something? There's nothing left but the sorry corpse of an addict. Damn. Love the angles, by the way. Very cinematic. Also, there's cockroaches everywhere. Okay, so we got a um, room key. Can we go balcony? Okay, we have a... Ooh, bullets! Revolver ammo. So now we have a gun, right? Well, we have a gun already. Can we reload it? Uh, quit. Aha! Reload it. Nice. Dude, that is a sick gun with a flashlight underneath it or something. Okay. Shoot the cockroaches. Now we can fight back. It's probably gonna give me, like, a combat tutorial later, but we already know it, baby. This door, we haven't been here. Did we open this with the key? Seek. A dusty old video phone. This model is made by Tanktron, Tektroni. There's a heel, let's go. You gonna take a bath? I'd kill for a shower right now, but this one smells like death. <laughs> get a message ho tag we have a uh, signal nobody likes washing up but this is just disgusting <laughs> this is actually like average parent right here it's full of old clothes and other useless junk uh, you're probably not gonna sleep on this bed I hate to think how long it's been since those sheets have been washed Sometimes it a pile of trash. It's no use to me. Are we? Are we just? I'm trying to find this, right? Can I go to the balcony here? Like I'm getting a signal, but it's not allowing me to talk to them. I'm assuming I have to find a different place. Yeah, this is my new house, Stuart. Let's go. So we need to. Wait, what key did we get? We got a key. Room key for two 
1.3, which is over here, I assume, because this is towards the stairs. Hey, Bubble, what's up? Uh, is that 2.3? 2.2? I'm probably further down then. Probably this one. 2.4, 2.3. The door is shut with an electronic lock. Use the thing. Let's go. Are we gonna have enough connection here? Okay, this house is completely fucked. Excuse me. The floor's collapsed, leading to the room below. I see, jump down. Yes, I guess. Are we not trying to get up? Missile lies dormant, buried under the rubble. Excuse me? Is it active? I don't want to wait around to find out. I'm getting a phone call? Or dare getting a phone call. Uh, hello? Is, uh, is anyone there? I'm sorry. Who is this? So we are Mika. We weren't expecting visitors. How are you? Fuck. How is this line still active? Shots. I refuse to die. Why are you talking like that? Like an AI taking over the I building? <laughs> Seven thousand. Like me too. Oh, I get it. You're one of those old service bots, right? Used to take calls when people went home. I'm sorry. I am not familiar with the term. Service bot. Right. Okay. Try this. I'm looking for someone. A girl. Her name's Sasha. Okay, I see. So we're Please looking for Sasha. Tell me. Oh, so she left and she didn't come back, and I was looking for her. I'm assuming. Yeah, this is a waste of my time. I'm hanging up. Watch out for the strays. They haven't had a problem in weeks. Were they? Creepy fucking robot. <laughs> oh, save. Let's go. I'm digging it. The sink is filthy. Big X, is there something there? The radiator appears to be damaged. Barely hanging onto the wall. Remove it, yes. Secret path. The wall is water damaged, exposing the plasterboard uh, behind. Kick it. I may be able to break through with the right tool. Understood. There's another letter. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Excuse me. Is that moving? Is she the cat? They just fall over. Resident. What is happening? Resident Charlie Garewall. Occupation adolescence. That's an occupation now. Uh, deceased. Asphyxiation. Wait a minute. What the fuck? I can't see it. Document added. What are we doing? Where did I see this? Child's drawing, Bazillioner? Bazil bazil if I was a Bazillioner, I would buy mommy an, a new daddy and get pizza every day. <laughs> oh, a billionaire, a Bazillioner, I get it. I, I thought it was like an animal. A Bazillioner. <laughs> That's so good. Based. <laughs> oh no, but she's dead though. Feels bad, man. You couldn't pay me to sleep in this place. Uh, there's the hammer. Oh. A hammer lies embedded into the family portrait. Yes. I want to be a bazillionaire so fucking bad. That's how the song goes, right? Uh. What was the spooky cat, though? Trying to get back here, but the controls are a little wonky sometimes. 
I would like to break the wall. The wall is watered down. I may be... Yes. We got an old oh. claw hammer. Useless as a weapon, but good for breaking stuff. Wait, can I... Wait, can I do this with my documents? Wait, the wait, wait, wait. Yeah, 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 I get it. Can I inspect my documents and get her to say something? No, I don't think so. I was curious if she could say something about the documents. All right, use it. Yeah, this is... Those gods vibe... God vibes out the wazoo. What the fuck? Dude, that was a much larger hole than I expected. How did she even do that? There was like a small... How did she do all of that in like a second, man? She's crazy? That's what she said? What the fuck? Why did she say that? You were fucked up. You're into some weird shit. <laughs> you got a problem. You fell right into my trap. You purple? Also hear a ball. It's trash. I'm okay, kicking a ball against the wall. Small child's bed, various toys and posters decorate the room. Either they left in a hurry or dot dot dot. Had to open the closet. More bullets. Child ghost incoming. I want to check the corners, but I need to. Understand that in these games when you can't look into a corner, there's probably nothing there because they want you to cinematically walk like from one <laughs> end of the house to another. They don't want you to fiddle around with the camera in a weird way. Alright, anyway. What is the sound? Can I go through here? No. I hear it coming from the other room. Let's check another. I mean, we found some... Uh on some ammo. So we're down to f the first floor. That one is locked. Must be some secrets here. Can we not access the stairs from here? Is it them? Maybe. Probably can't. Oh, the oh, this was the locked gate. We couldn't go into this because the gate was like fused or something. I remember. Now if these doors are just... Someone just ran away. Hello? Uh, is that? Oh! It's the door. Excuse me? That's concerning. An old wooden bat pierced with rusty nails is embedded in the door. Take the makeshift club. Sure! Now what? Can I equip that as a weapon? Is that like a melee weapon? I see. Holy! Hey, yeah! She's insane. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! Me that actually scared the shit out of me. I was just, I was just admiring my moves, man. I got a bat. I will hit you in the face. Wait, this is a similar looking room. Hi. Jesus, she's got rocks. She's gonna throw them. How did you fall to the floor? Wait! Smack! What the fuck? I was, I was so get out! I was completely stuck against the wall. Excuse me? I couldn't even attack. I was spamming attack. What the fuck? I was spamming the attack button and it just didn't let me. I couldn't even walk away because I was stuck. What the fuck was that, dude? I got comboed. Alrighty then. A speed run time. Wait, is that? Wait, this is the only save we had that one phone call? God damn it, we're off the speed run. The fuck was that? I couldn't even move. I was just stuck against the wall. <laughs> and I, I couldn't open the menu either because I tried to heal. Uh, this was phone call, which means we just jumped down. So there, there was this. I want to find all the letters. Yeah. Oh, the jump scare again. 
See that thing? It does move in a weird way. Alright, get back at the document. Where were the bullets? Let's just shoot instead. Fuck the... They, they baited me with the damn... With the damn claw hammer, man. Yeah, that creepy music box. Door's jammed and won't open. Oh yeah, we need to grab the hammer here, right? To get through the wall. This good for shit, I wasn't in there yet. Gimme, gimme. Absols, thank you for the super sub. I mean, that was... They gave us our first ever combat encounter only to have the save point like seven million years away. <laughs> That's a little rude. But, I mean, maybe I missed the save point. Though. It did say a weapon or the hammer is useless as a weapon, so I'm assuming that's not gonna work. Make it rude. It is like a small area and then she just opens up a massive hole here. Kind of, I'm stuck, bro! Oh, there we go. <laughs> I managed to squeeze out of there. <laughs> she punched the wall. I will check the other room. Again, right? There was one, this room, which had bullets in there. The game looks old. That's the point. It's trying to look old new. There was just ammo here. Yeah. And then now we grab out the gun. It's gun time. I'm already reloaded. Alright, and now it's- just, Okay, it wasn't that far back, because now we're back where we want to be. A little fucking confusing to get out of rooms when all you can see is, like, one angle. Save the game? I don't- I mean, can I go back in to save now? I can. Alright, well, might as well. Crawl back and forth. Alright. Maybe we can save it every phone. We're not gonna call. Yeah, there we go. Okay, save. So now if we die, we're fine. We don't have to do anything again. We do have a flashlight. Oh, I can turn it on in the middle of the cutscene. Alright, you don't get me this time, because I'm gonna shoot your ass. Hi. I'm not gonna use this bat this time. I got baited. I will just use my gun instead. There we go. Use the gun to shoot the thing. Door is shut. Wait, doesn't it open? Oh, yep, yeah, it does. Okay, there we go. Hello. I'm back. This time I got a gun. I will shoot you. Can I just shoot you from here? Hi. Don't do it. I will run away first, get a better angle. Is she damn stun like my ass? Why did you- I mean, you guys are I get it, but come on. You knew it was coming this time. Don't get stuck again! Fucking run! Okay, here we go. And then, get ready to be blasted. Boom. Excuse me? What the fuck? This gun sucks! Oh, there we go. How am I supposed to aim? Okay, it's working. You look insanely cursed. Reload, reload, reload. Did I reload? Did I finish the reload? Aha. <laughs> Get killed. You are a damn tank. What the fuck? Jesus. That took so many shots. Sayla, thank you for the five guesses. I'm glad that I had collected all those bullets. That would have never been possible otherwise. All right, we're gonna check that safe, but there is a secret here. A letter from First Plus Health UK confirming Helen Bridges' new patient details. Her name is listed alongside her date of birth, 4th of October, 2025. Oh, that's pretty soon. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I was, hey, trying, I was trying to pick it up so I could read the rest, but whatever. I will check the safe now. Um, was she eating this? You're probably equip. I don't think I have many more bullets. I have five bullets. Yeah, let's equip the bat then. 
We're just gonna have to make the bat work. There's another enemy. Uh, Helen Bridges! Okay, so this is Helen Bridges. Condition deceased. Cause unknown. Void. Occupation? OT? Overtime? Uh, a personal- what is this stand for? A personal safe is mounted in the wall. Graduation? Oh! Uh, oh, your year of graduation! That's gotta be... 2000... Okay, I see, I see. We need to find more information. Occupational therapist? I mean, we could guess. 20... <laughs> 20, 25 plus 18. Would it be metagaming? You can see that. Any? Oh, here, here, here. Aha! Uh... -huh. uh a university diploma hangs on the wall. Awarded at the University of Kingsbury to Helen Bridges. There's no The date, degree though. of Doctor of Medicine. Uh, but we don't know when. Doctor... Doesn't say anything. Uh, awarded University of Kingsbury upon nomination. Awarded I mean, at the university... It takes forever to get a, a college degree then. It would be like 18 plus another eight years. No year, we just gotta gotta guess how long. Maybe it says something on here. A letter from First Plus Health UK confirming um, Helen Bridges no. new patient detail. Her name I mean we could just do <laughs> We could just figure it out that way. Oh here, here, here. The three girls at a university graduation. What is the date on it? Hmm. One of them appears to be heavily pregnant. We need to get a date, man. A young woman celebrating 30? her birthday. It looks like she has a kid. Can't be more than three or four years old. Three or four years old, okay. So she was pregnant at the time of graduation. So, wait, 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 wait. Okay, we're, we're math mathing. So 2025 plus 30 is 20, 2055. So 2055 minus three or four years old, so probably four. So it's 2051? That she got, that was going on? 2051. No? 20, it's gotta be close though. 20, 50, 50? 20, 52. Aha! There we go. <laughs> a large metal key hides in the back of the safe. I like that, that was, that was good. That was a good puzzle, because it wasn't just like, I expected, my like, simple gamer brain expected that it should just be a date on the first picture that you found, but you actually have to put the pieces together without it being like, too annoying or like, convoluted. Okay, so we have a key for the... for the padlock from downstairs? Remember that? How do we get back up? Is there, oh, that's the blood from the thing that we shot. Is it still there or did it like disintegrate? No, it's still there. We're gonna not inspect it. Oh, whoops, I'm a little aggressive, I'm sorry. Uh, can we go another way? Because if we jump down, I'm assuming we can't just jump back up. This door's still open, maybe in here. Save, there will be... Is there phones everywhere? Can I save everywhere? I should be careful, because now I might die. Um, I guess we should quickly save and then come back here. Just in case. Have to do everything again. A lot, because there's maybe. Oh God, there's enemies now. Never mind. I hate it here. Okay, well, I guess we'll just go in here then. <laughs> Never mind. Don't go to the safe station. Fuck that. All right, we'll check this out. Hopefully, no enemies in here. Otherwise, we'll be stun locked and die. Uh, red means scary. Give me a phone. Is that a phone? That's not a phone. What is this camera angle, bro? I can't see. That's a stinky shower. I don't want to go into the stinky shower. Just checking my... All the different angles. Have you been here before? These rooms all look the same. You're making me dizzy with this angle. Okay, I don't think there's anything here. There's got to be something. Can we go outside? We cannot go outside. All right, well, this was just a pointless building then. Guess we're going to fight him. Here we go. This, or I could just run past you. Yeah, I want to save, but there's enemies. 
Okay, can I loop? Can we loop? There's more than one! I can't see shit! Can you rotate the camera around, please, video game? Okay, uh, this is bad. Okay, it's loop time. They come forward, I go running. Ah! Get looped. Use your gun? I already used all the bullets on the first enemy. Oh no, there's more. Just go past. I, I know I'm supposed to fight them, but I'm scared, okay? I'm scared I want to save the game. <laughs> there we go. Now, now we can fight. I don't know where these people even came from because there was nothing and now they're all here. Is this them? All right, save. Yes, let's go. <laughs> yeah, they're super slow. Boom. Save the game. All right, now I will fight them. I will use my big bat. To smack you. If you could please rotate the camera around, that would really help me. Thank you. Smack! No! Just meet them not get stun locked. Just stun lock them instead. No! Can I kick them too? No! <laughs> they don't really see them no! do anything. They're just taking it. No! What the fuck? I feel bad. Oh no. No, 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 I clicked off the screen because the game doesn't have... Okay, I killed it. <laughs> I clicked off the screen because the game doesn't have... The... Oh, God. It doesn't confine your mouse to the to the screen. Also, we got to go into that room for sure because it's just open. Wait, they're like... Look at the chest. They got like a hole in the chest. Please. Please rotate. They're coming from behind. Can I not do like a right click? Oh, just smack. Ow. No, I'm getting so locked. Just run. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't want to be here. Oh, move it out of the way. Just useless junk. Move it, though. Move the useless junk. Are we hurt? We're totally fine. Okay, we're going to try and fight. If you could please rotate the camera this way. Can I, like, dual hit? No, no, no. Oh, God. Uh oh. Yeah, why don't you step over the useless junk? Can one of these fucking die? Thank you. This is actually kind of sick. <laughs> Boom. I haven't really played those early Resident Evil games, so I never played like a game where the the jankiness of the combat is the main like enemy. Like obviously if you could just swing your weapon freely, that would be easy, but because you have to deal with all the camera angles, it makes it hard. Television set. There's still another one, I can hear them. What is the point in this room? Oh hi! Yeah. Were you in yeah. this room? They all are slightly yeah. different. They're on the floor now, I think. Oh, never mind. Get missed. Get juked. You really gotta swing that hard. <laughs> there we go. There was he there was healing spray. Uh, I have healing spray, but I didn't get hurt. Apparently, I thought I got hit at least once. Okay. Anyway, can we open this? We cannot open this, but maybe we can use the key. I see. Okay. Thing would do more damage than a bullet. Ah, there we go. No, I wanted to play more. That was super cool. So yeah, that is Hollow Body. Definitely gonna be checking that out. I'm hard at work at bringing the best possible experience to the new fan, new players and fans of the genre. I've actually never really played uh, the early Resident Evil, as, as I said. So uh, this is might be one of my first ones in that style. Hollow Body is currently planned for release in Q1. That's in like two months max. Cool game will feature professional voice acting. It's already got that. An original soundtrack, post-game unlocks, and a uniquely personal narrative. I'm excited. If you'd like to help support it, just make sure to wishlist. Yeah, wishlisting is the best way. Additionally, for updates on the game's progress and opportunities to join our public beta test, which you, I assume I can't stream, so I will not be doing that myself. Thanks again, I'll open the Steam page now in case you want to click the green wishlist button. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> I will click it right now. There we go. All right, we're definitely going to check that out when it came out, but it was, uh, if you don't know, it was Steam Next Fest, so we're going to be checking out a bunch of games from the future today. That was the first one. Let's hop into the next one. This one is called Halston. 
Let's see. Holston, if you want, I can change the title myself. Uh, what's going on here? There is two levels. That was very vibey. Yeah, we are a time traveler. All right, we're checking out the Janos, or both of these. What's going on? Uh, the Janoski house, or the tunnel. Let's just do both of them in order, I'm assuming. Oh, what? Oh, it closed the game to open another game. <laughs> oh, what's happening? Press F to interact. Ooh. F or click to interact. Okay, point and click. Press right click or G to return. I, it's tank controls. We've trained this. There's a large rusty padlock keeping the door shut. A broken key is jammed inside. There is no way to take it out. Kick it. Got a light switch. Dude, I dig these graphics though. Project Zomboid has entered the sh chat. We need a code. 1835. Need to find a note somewhere. There's Q and E to rotate the camera. Oh, wow. All right. An entry phone mounted on the wall. I love that. I love that they actually let you do that because most games with this style just move the camera for you. I can't leave without these blueprints. We need to find a plastic box mounted on the wall. A faint electrical hum can be heard coming from within. The door is stuck and won't open without a narrow tool. Okay. There's got to be something on this. Something here? Yes, a letter. You came to the town, Giziorni Colonia, which I probably pronounced wrong, with one goal, to find your friend Bartek and bring him home. The search has led you to this place, the Janowski House. Some clues point that you can find the underground tunnels map here. If that is true, you'll be able to reach your next stop, the brewery, the last known whereabouts of Bartek. One of the few sane people in the town is waiting by the entry phone, assisting you from a distance. Her name is Anita, and you're stuck together in this mess of a situation. Whether you like it or not, she, sure, she certainly doesn't. Remember that whenever you get stuck, you can check the map, look at your inventory, and go through any notes you have found. Inspect your surroundings, look for clues, and use any advice you can. The Trinity knows you're gonna need it. This place is not there to help you, neither will it accept your help. It is too late for that. Just kidding, the padlock code is 2137. Please mind that while the events happening in this demo are considered canon, this particular gameplay bit will not be included in the actual game, and it is still missing a lot of cool stuff that we're working on. Okay, so this is gonna be unique to just this. 2137. Thank you, I appreciate it. 2137. Boom. He's done it. Dude, this is crazy. So. Such a cool style. Uh, what the fuck is happening in here, man? That's a Polish inside joke? <laughs> or it's just, just... I mean, is this game... Is this a Polish game? This is a small map with a shade... Lamp with a shade. It's missing a light bulb. What will you do? Flick the switch? <laughs> light bulb is necessary for this to work. Yeah, that is kind of how that works, to be fair. Um... Oh, the light gets rid. Ah, I see. Light gets rid of those, so I need to turn on this lamp and then move it over there, because this this thing is... Or maybe move the thing? Oh, I can't move the bookshelf. That would be the easiest way to get make sure that it gets uh, uh, hit with light. <laughs> Hobbing and heavy Hello. Ktoś tu jest? Hey. Uh... Proszę, wysłuchaj mnie. Potrzebuję twojej pomocy. Czy ty... Czy ty jesteś pan Bartek? Co? Wujek... Wujek pan Bartek? Ten, co chodził z notatnikiem i Spolec? pytał o różne rzeczy? E, tak, to ja. Wujek pan Bartek. To, to ja, Maciek. Maciek. Maciek, czemu wszędzie jest tak ciemno? Nie wiem, naprawdę. Ta pani od białej sukienki szperała w skrzynce elektrycznej w przedsionku. The white dress lady? Oh. Uh, can I turn on the light? There's a lamp with a shade. What will you do? Flip. Oh, you can flick the switch. Switch doesn't seem to work. Perhaps there's no power. Okay. 
Sink is inoperable. It's entirely clocked with ooze. Can we take this out or will this kill me? Sink is inoperable. Yeah, what is this though? I can't go there. All right, well, we'll take out the lamp. The fuck happened behind me? You see that? Oh, it's <laughs> never mind. It popped up the lamp. I see. I see. <laughs> clicked so fast I couldn't see it. I put in the lamp here and now we can go upstairs and I'm assuming we get a flashlight or something that will allow us to go into the bathroom there. Cool. <laughs> the switch doesn't seem to work. Perhaps there's no power. I've heard that word before. Polish people rejoice. Is that a knife? Found a dull knife. Will you keep it? Yes. I won't take things from grandpa's and grandma's room, especially when they lock the door. You typed the things wrong, I'm sorry. Okay, should they have to type it? It's <laughs> just like a classic punishment. What? Are you a... Can you teleport between the dressers? Rozumiem. Ta pani od białej sukienki zepsuła skrzynkę elektryczną. Tam w przedsionku. To temu jest tu tak ciemno. I see. What you said before. Any phone call? Plastic plate of the light switch is crushed. It's completely inoperable now. Click the switch. Huh? Wait, we don't have another light bulb though, and we can't, unless it goes away forever, does it grow back if you turn off the light? Because if it doesn't, then we can pick back up the light, light switch here. I'm getting a phone call. Where's the phone? Oh, whoopsie, it wasn't me. It was the child, I promise. Is it in there? I don't see, this place sucks. Dirty armchair. There are cigarette holes in the upholstery. Just blame the child. Lock from the other side. Oh, female humming can be heard coming from the door. Okay, can I take this out again? Will that? Oh, uh, so it's, when it's no, no. Wait, maybe I can go fast enough though. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe I can go fast enough because it looked like it took a little while to glow, grow back. Go. Oh, no. Apparently pressing shift makes you walk. I hate games when they, I hate it when games do that. I don't think this is the way I'm supposed to do this, but I'm gonna try it. Go! Yeah, okay, it blocks me immediately. All right, so we can't do this because we can't go upstairs without having it plugged in here. So we're just gonna plug it in. Maybe we need to take out the switch or something upstairs. Who pissed on the floor? I mean, so hissed. What is the saying again? He who smells it, dealt it. So it must be you. there long scratches on the floor likely caused by a moving piece of furniture huh? can't open anything and the light switches all don't work I keep breaking stuff I'm sorry also what's over here long stretch on the floor can you move the furniture oh wait a minute I see so on the other we're on the other side here oh I see, but it doesn't work though. A light bulb. Okay, so now it's in the right place, but it doesn't have a light bulb still. I understand. But is that no. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe there's gonna maybe we can unlock another way to get up without having the light switch down. Stop breaking shit, sir! I didn't tell you to do any of that. Who's calling? Yeah, I wanna pick up the phone. I don't think I can get to the phone though. Or is it, or is it in like the living room here? Where's this coming from? Can I find my way through the mess? I don't think I can. Um, maybe? Actually, I can kick stuff around. I blocked myself by kicking this in. Am I supposed to be able to get there? Cause I fucked it up now. <laughs> I sure hope not. Answer the phone. Yeah, where the fuck is the phone? I don't see no phone. Is it at the entryway? 
Oh, here's the phone. Yeah, yeah, answer the phone. Oh, someone yeah, is ringing the door. Yeah. Ah, I see. Nic mi nie jest. Jest pełno magii. Nie ma prądu. It wasn't a phone, it was a nie byłem... intercom. Janowscy. Rodzina, która tu mieszka. Spotkałeś kogoś z nich? Jak wyglądają? Zauważyłeś coś niezwykłego? Nic tu kurwa nie jest zwykłe. Co mam ci powiedzieć? Posłuchaj. Jeśli zależy ci na tej durnej mapie, która doprowadzi cię do tego twojego Bartka, rozejrzyj się po domu. Spróbuj wszystko oświetlić najlepiej jak się da. Plasmo... Tamaś... Nie lubi sztucznego światła. Pogadaj z gówniarzem, może coś z niego wyciśniesz. Już z nim gadałem. Mówił, że ktoś grzebał w skrzynce z korkami. Gratulacje. Dzieciak rozgryzł to szybciej od ciebie. Światło elektryczne potrzebuje prądu. Nadążasz? A prąd mieszka w tej buczącej skrzynce przy drzwiach. Uważaj tam na siebie. Jeszcze się tu pokręcę. Jakbyś kogoś potrzebował z mózgiem. Okay, dude. Okay. So I can call with you to get tips? Oh my Christmas. Uh, something different now though. So let's see. We have... What rooms do we have? We have this room where we cannot get through uh, at all. Unless I was supposed to be able to get through here. It kind of looks like, but this box is in the way. So I can't go that way. I can kick it, but it doesn't move. Then we have this room, which is the bathroom, but this switch doesn't work, right? Click the switch. Wait, no, but it doesn't work at all. It said before, it doesn't work. This is a new room. Wait, what is this? Huh? Wait, what's on the floor? That's There's something on the floor. Kitchen. There are many fridge magnets with city names. Zako Pan, Pan Sopot, Warsaw, Krakow. Let's see? I like that you can actually put something on it. Dishes with still leftover. The oil cloth is covered with the greasy drops of chicken soup. Long scratches on the floor are likely caused by moving. I can't move that though because it's all held in place. I love that you just break everything you walk into in this game. You are. Oh shit, what's this? Pot with chopped vegetables and eggs coated in mayonnaise. Can't go back there. Can't really check that out in this. Light switch doesn't work. Maybe we can. Wasn't there a fuse box over here? The humming box? Can we do something with that? Plastic box mounted on the wall. Oh, here we go. Oh, we can use the knife to open the door. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Fuse box door is now open. There's a large rusty padlock keeping the door shut. What the fuck? Wait. Oh, the fuse box here. This thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and then we can move where the fuse is. Oh, I see. So let's first check out this side. Are we gonna lock in now? You're locked in. So now we can't turn on the light here at all because the light bulb here, I see. Uh-huh. But now we can turn on the light the door toilet is free, which what the fuck is going on in here? A musty odor comes from the washing machine. There are damp clothes inside. You found a watering can. Will you keep it? Sure, why not? Okay. Can we do something? Can we do something in here? I like that you can see all these rooms from the different angles. Uh we're getting a phone call again. God damn it! What are you talking? Can you leave me alone? I'm trying to solve the puzzles here. What the fuck? Yeah, I know, bro. I'm doing exactly that. <laughs> She's like taking too long, dude. Okay, so we got that. What the hell, man? Back seating. Get out of here. Okay. What the fuck is going on in this kitchen? We got all kinds of stuff. Uh, we have a key. You have found a key with a tag. Yes, maybe we can open the... I don't know if this junk is useful anymore. Okay. We can open that maybe padlock door. What is that? I think it's an operable. It's clogged with ooze. Vegetables. Was there anything back here? We can move this. Yes. Aha! New door. Oh, now we're on the other side. Where we can turn on the light switch. Oh, baby. Uh, not 
nothing here and interact with Put on the table. A meat cleaver is stuck on the table and dark red stains of drip blood dripping down the tablecloth. Cannot take that. TV screen is shattered into a dozen pieces. Dirty armchair. Um I did my last penance according to accordingly to what our good provost said. My husband and I already have the results. The due date is set in August. This is my last confession. I've committed the following sins. I argued with my mother, and I doubted my faith in the face of my father's sickness. I deeply regret all my sins. I'm scared I won't be able to join the penitent mass. I want to make atonement to purify my soul for the next penance. I'll do what was spoken in the sermon. I'll remove the root of evil from my body. Your right hand? That's the root of evil? My man? You could just go to rehab. I'm just kidding. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> Let's go this way. The door is locked, bruh. <laughs> I think we now need to move the fuse. I think we got everything here. Uh, so that was it. <laughs> Glad you said it. What is this, by the way? Can I not interact with that? And I think that's everything. Boy, thank you for the 11 months. Okay, so next one. I don't know how is this gonna work if we put it up stairs, though. Wait, how? Because we can put it here. I can't really see the map anymore here. I guess I could put it here and then I can see it. Um, upstairs green, I see. But now what? How the fuck do I get there? I put this in, it doesn't work, right? Yeah, because there's no power. They can only do it in one place at once. I see. Um, because I can't, the light switch doesn't work because there's no power here. So we need to, we cannot get upstairs still. We need to find some more stuff. So we need to put the fuse back, the yellow, to see what we gotta do. Um, what are we doing? Maybe we can use the uh, key here. Maybe we can use this key on this door. A large rusty padlock. Use the key. A bro oh no, the broken key is jammed inside. Yeah, we did find a key, so maybe we can do stuff upstairs now. So let's just put it here and go upstairs to see if we can use the key somewhere. I'll put in light bulb. There we go. And then see. We cannot turn this on because no power. But can we open anything with the key? What the fuck is going on here, man? This place is disgusting. The door's locked! Use the key with the tag. There we go. Aha. New room. No power. Doesn't matter. We have an almost empty bottle of vodka. Seems to be put here intentionally. Hidden, perhaps. Oh my god. Are you gonna backseat me again? Click the switch. Huh? We don't have a lamp. Oh, there's just no power either. I mean, you're, you're still too fucking slow, man. A wall unit made out of laminated board, broken and repaired multiple times. Can she just give me another fuse? Can your lazy ass do something? Instead of being so fucking annoying all the time. Alright, we'll talk to her. Anita, what are you on about? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's to take the bulb? We can have two bulbs, I see. Yes, thank you. Okay. Oh, we have a map that we can- so we can see it's like the classic Resident Evil stuff. Okay, so we take the bulb. I thought we should put- we could put in the bulb there. Oh, come on. But we can take it out and then we have two so we can put one down there while having the other bulb. Aha, uh -huh, I see. This one. Take out the bulb. There we go. Uh huh. Now we move. What the fuck? Talk to me? Okay, 
Muszę nalać do niej wody, ale krany nie działają. Nie no, niektóre działają. Nie słyszysz kapania? Kap, kap, chlap, chlap. That's interesting that that is such a different, that in Polish you say a very different word for dripping. <laughs> it's, it's interesting, like, it's, it reminds me of, like, how different languages have different words for, like, barking, like, dog barking. <laughs> like, they just decided that, that it sounds different. Uh, okay, so let's see. Let's see the situation, right? So we have two light bulbs now. One is over here, which opens this. Check. Then we have another light bulb, but this doesn't work without the power here. So if we move the power, the fuse to be upstairs, this is gonna be off, right? So we can't just like move the power here and then still you just, just making sure that that's indeed the case. Yeah, so this will go up no matter what. So I don't really know what the second lights or second bulb is useful for. Um, so there's no bulb here. This is blocked. I need to turn the light on. There was this place, but this is where we got the bulb in the first place. Hmm. I don't really get it. Or maybe one of these. I think we need another fuse. Yeah. <clears throat> there was this. Oh, wait, I know it. I know what we got to do. What if we, you know, wait, where was that lamp? There was one lamp there where we moved something and then we put in the lamp, then we move the power, which will then automatically turn on that lamp and unlock something like here, maybe? What if we put in the light bulb here, then we flick the switch so it's on. Doesn't seem to work, perhaps there's no power. Now we move the power and then it's unlocked. But where, what door does that unlock though? I don't think, that do something for me? Because this is on the other, well, let's just try that. See if that does anything that makes sense. If we move it. Or maybe I just need another fuse. Yeah, where's Anita when you really need her? Okay, so we move the fuse uh, to upstairs blue, right? Also, we still, we can check this, right? There's still something in the hall that we need to check. And there's still something in the living room that we need to check. Uh, but did that do anything or was that just a pointless move? I think that might have been just a pointless move because this doesn't open. And we can't get upstairs in any other way. Alright, it was worth a try. Anywho, um, okay, so let's just check these rooms that are still, still have stuff in there. Which is living room, so let's do this. So what's still in the hallway? It still says there's some... Fuck, did someone just knock? It still was blue or red. Items to collect, so there's something in the hallway. What is in the hallway? I don't see anything I could interact with. Oh, there? Oh, that's the light switch. Can't talk to that. The light bulb, maybe? It's the bulb I left, really? That's probably... Okay, that makes sense. But what's in the living room, then? There's something to collect in the living room. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh my god, there's just a fuse? Okay, well, that changes everything. <laughs> okay, what I did was just right there the whole time. Fucking kidding me? Okay, anyway, now we know what to do. <laughs> no wonder Anita has been annoyed the whole time. The fuse is inserted. Okay, so we can have this one on the red one, and then we can have this one on the green one and just start exploring upstairs. Uh, so this one, the red right here is probably the lamp that we can still collect, but we can't take that out. Uh, now what's over here? Let's see. So we can move this, and then we have a new room. Uh, which is fucked up, but maybe the light switch okay. works. It doesn't. Okay, there's no power. That is fine. What the fuck is over there? Um, an aluminum shower. Droplets of water trickle down the hose. Small faucet mounted on the wall is still functional. What will you do? Fill the watering can. Water from the faucet slowly fills the metal metal container. Do we need this for something, though? I don't really know what we need this for. Pile of shattered light bulbs crushed electrical fuges seemingly pon pounded with a blunt tool. Excuse me? 
The floor tiles in the vicinity are cracked, indicating that an extraordinary strength was used. Used. Uh, a relatively clean ceramic b basin. The small faucet is still functional. Okay, so we have a full watering can now. Uh, let's see, is there any... So hall and bathroom is full. It's, it's collected now. We have done everything there. There's still something in here, but we can't turn on the light. Okay, so this one is broken, but maybe this works now, right? Click the switch. Aha! And then this is... This is gone, which means we can go around. No, because this still needs to be opened. But we can't really move. Because if we move the fuse now, then this is gonna. Oh, wait, maybe we can jump down. Oh, so then we can jump down. Uh, child diagnosis. Mechi Janowski displays intelligence, openness, eagerness to learn, and is interested in physical pro processes, especially electricity. He also tends to collect and play with objects related to electricity, such as batteries or light bulbs. Problems regarding difficulty under difficulty understanding spelling rules and remembering facts outside of his interests are within the norm for a child his age. It is advised to be aware that his curiosity could create a situation that could put his health or life in danger if unattended for a long period of time. And then, whatever, some sensor. Okay, can we jump this? Oh, what? Thomas. Excuse me, there's a person here? Drawers containing tablecloths, bed sheets, and household Thomas. tools. All is in complete disarray. Thomas? Jesus Maria Tomus, wystraszyłeś mnie. Oh, sorry. Słyszałam jakieś hałasy, ale nie wiedziałam, że to ty. Myślałam, że to jaki intrus. No to zamknęłam drzwi. W dzisiejszych czasach to wszędzie pełno groźnych typów. Jak się tu dostałaś do cholery? No przecie ja sąsiadka jestem. A co, jakby się coś złego działo pod ich nieobecność? Spójrz, no to muś. Im dłużej patrzę na te zasłony, tym bardziej mi się podobają. Wszyscy pękną z zazdrości, jak zobaczą moją suknię. Teraz wybacz, ale nie mam za dużo czasu. Muszę zacząć szyć. They just came into the house? You can't do that? I'm also gonna move slightly more. There we go, so we don't cover up as much. Uh, all right then. So now I can open this door. I can have the door unlocked, which means I now can remove the power from here, because now I can take the ladder. Uh-huh. I see. So then we no longer need power in red, so we can have power in blue zone. I like these puzzles. These are clever. And we can climb. Maybe we need to take out the light bulb as well. Might as well, because we're never gonna... What is this? A bronze statue of a woman holding two jars. The nameplate says Wuglin guarding the Rhine gold. The jar in her left hand is sealed. There's a small piece of paper in the other one. O oh, Rhine maiden, who carrieth a jar full of the sacred water, I offer thou a betrothal ring as a sign that I renounce love for time eternal. Grant me a holy warrior access to Rhine gold so I may slay foes aplenty. Can we fill this with water? Pour water into the jug. There we go. The jar lowers as it gets filled. A quiet mechanical groan accompanies a, a slight motion. What does it do? What does it do? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Take the lamp here. Because this is no longer needed. Take out the light. I don't know if we're going to need it. But I'll just take it with me. We have this turned on while we also can turn on this light switch. Wait, what? Oh, and then we do need it here. We need to put the light bulb in. Let's go, he's insane with it. What? How did you get up there? Especially behind all the tentacles? Is this another neighbor or is this the same one? A torn notebook labeled Kasia's diary. The writing on every page is covered by crayon scribble scribbles. Looks like a cutout photo of Grzegorz Chiawski 
Tchaikovsky was taped to the cover. These names are impossible, man. A wiesz, że mój dziadzio to ma strzelbę? Jak raz nie poszedłem do szkoły, to widziałem, jak się nią bawi w gabinecie. Patrzałem tylko przez dziurkę od klucza, to i nie wszystko widziałem. Playing with the rifle? A wiesz, że mój dziadzio jak raz... Okay, so we want a rifle? We want to shoot someone? Poważnie. Where's Locke? What are you doing up here? Matko, jedyna co za burdel. Jak ja mam tu cokolwiek znaleźć? Wszędzie zajrzałam i nic. Zilch. Co to? To Janowska nie ma żadnych przyborów krawieckich? Może dzieciaki mają jakieś kredki i linijki, to sobie poradzę, jeśli w ogóle je wygrzebie. Pita. Alright, lady. With this. Mm, what? With the switch? Kurwa. Light bulb again. Bizarre pile of furniture. Hard to imagine what purpose it could serve. What if I take out this light bulb here? Can I do that? Oh, now I can push that and then take out this light bulb and put it there. I assume. Because I've already pushed it. So now... I was just 10 steps ahead of the game. While being also behind at the same time. Now we don't need this one anymore. And let me put it there. These rooms look so different from different angles. But in... Uh, what? That doesn't do too much. Because I wanted to get rid of it there. Can I move it back somehow? Whoops. Um, what does this accomplish? Not... Can I just move this furniture? Just throw it out the way so the light hits this thing. I'm trying to move it, but I, oh wait, never mind. We found this. You found a slide. Will you keep it? Yes. Nie sprzątaj. Dzieciaki narobiły bałaganu, to niech same zbiorą rzeczy. Może teraz uda mi się znaleźć jakieś ołówki i linijki do zdjęcia miary. Ale wciąż nie mogę niczego uszyć bez maszyny. Musi być gdzieś w piwnicy, ale klucz się złamał w tej cholernej kłódce. To muś, kochaneczku. Pomóż kobiecie w potrzebie. Tu potrzeba męskiej ręki. They always flame Dutch people for having like kind of sounds, but Polish is like ten times worse, bro. What the fuck would I have those words, man? She should sound like she was throwing up. So <laughs> is. You found an old ring. Will you keep it? Oh, I need to give that to the to the thing. <laughs> I mean, Dutch also has very many <laughs> fucked up noises. The plastic. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We do need the light switch back now. Oh my God, man. We got to move this stuff so much because we need the light bulb. So we got the slide, which we probably need to do something with that in the basement. You're calling me again? I've been solving puzzles left and right, bro. Chill out. Don't backseat my ass. I want to... Go down here. God damn it, lady. Now we have the ring for this, right? Put on ring. There we go. The ring gently slides onto the woman's finger. A faint clink of metal is heard from inside of the statue. The statue starts to tremble as the old mechanism sets it to motion. A bronze safe. Why are you fucking calling me? You found a rifle! A barska something something. Will you keep it? Yes. We should open the door. Blast it. Any progress? Yes, so much. I found a rifle. A barska something something. Will you keep it? Yes. We should open the door. Blast it. Yes, so much. I found a Po co mieliby slajd, którego nie mają na czym wyświetlić? To duży dom, pełno tu ludzi. Znajdę go. Aha. Dobra, tylko się pospiesz. Once again, you are absolutely useless, just yelling at me and being annoying. Shoot the padlock! Here we go. Blasted. I should probably 
move the fuse to the basement, or is that even possible? I don't know. That did work. Proudly presented by Sonka. Rafat Sankowski. Magnum Opus. 2XD rendering, pixel art programming, gameplay. Wait, is this... Is this the credits of the game? <laughs> I thought I was reading. <laughs> They've been tricked, dude. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's so many people working on this. Holy. <laughs> that is so funny. A horde of dated houseware. Too worn out to use. Too good to throw out. Every said every mother ever. Shelf groaning under the weight of mason jars with com compote and pickled vegetable. I don't know if everyone's mother is like this, but my mom will never throw anything away. I could find like anything I've ever owned in like the, the attic of my family home. It's just like absolute maze of boxes with like random crap <laughs> that no one will ever ever need again wardrobe loaded with summer clothes to be brought out in a couple of months drives my dad insane <laughs> an old projector used to display images on slides do it it's a mom's thing there we go so this was the first part because there was another one this was the first uh chapter and now it is time to check out the tunnel. Museum of Warmia Land, Combat Mechanics Showcase, Roguelike Mode. Roguelike Mode? Because we didn't actually get to fight any combat at all. The Interactive Exhibition. That was very cool. Uh, I guess I start at the beginning. Zero, thank you for the 11. Uszanowanko, moje nazwisko Przemysław Wodnik. Witam na interaktywnej wystawie Muzeum Ziemi Warmińskiej w Olsztynie. Oddział terenowy Jeziorne Kolonia. Tytuł wystawy? Holstein. Mechaniki walki i poruszania się. Teraz uskuteczniane są, prawda, prace konstrukcyjne, więc sprawy wyglądają nieco inaczej niż powinny. Tymczasowo mamy taką jakby wersję demonstracyjną. I nie wszystko można robić. Demonstracyjną? Zapoznaj się pan z tabliczkami w pomieszczeniu, to się pan dowiesz. Potem zapraszam w dalszą część wystawy. Okay. Just after interact. I'm, I'm moonwalking. Industrial lubricants and grease is way past expiration dates. Uh, doors locked and won't open without a key. This is one stinky place. A faded globe with a fractured stand. Is this again? How are they still there if they're in the light? A horrid sting comes from the barrel. Something must have died in there. Can we go there? Huh? Locked. Okay, then. Is that everything? Oh, there's something. We found a rusty key. Can I open this door now? The key fell apart on use? Hello, people? Oh, no. These are mannequins. <laughs> they were people. You found another rusty key? Okay, then. Someone just moved in the background. The tentacle-like pseudopods hide when electric light shines on them. Conserve batteries. Switch the flashlight off by pressing 5. Okay. Enemies can see and will react to the flashlight beam. Understood. You found a flashlight. I see. I'm trying to turn it on. Escape. Essential for seeing, we have to charge it by hand. However, it can draw the attention of opponents. Turn on. Probably need a battery, huh? Yeah, the guy moved, right? Yeah, this guy. Hello, sir. Ja już te tunele znam na pamięć, ale można się pogubić, jak się tu jest pierwszy raz. Jak pan nie widzisz, jak przejść dalej, to sobie poświęć latarką. Nie ma się co wstydzić. Zwracam uwagę, prawda, że latarka nie działa, jak nie ma w sobie czego. Battery. Hold on, I thought that was gonna be like a. Wait. Oh, you can go through. Oh God, what the fuck? Oh, you can go through that, but it hurts you. What the hell? You fucked me up, man. 
The rusted metal door is locked. What will you do? I was just gonna check this out first. Found batteries. And another key every time. What the fuck? Common light in a den of thieves. Pitch dark underground. Any daredevil that would find himself. Blah, blah, blah. But how did they get here? Maybe the representing the people tried to... I don't know. Yes, all kinds. All kinds of stuff going on. Scholars still cannot explain. History of the tunnel. Warmia land is planning to venture into... You, you, this is unreadable. Can I turn off the light? Why did the... I don't want to do that. Just curious. This is, some, this is like a museum. Uh, so now we can do this, right? We can combine with this. 50%. Aha. Zapraszam za mną. Zapraszam, nie ma się czego bać. I love that you just walk through that. Ah, there we go. That was the first one. Interactive exhibition going forward. W imieniu całej Rady Nadzorczej naszej placówki mam przyjemność powitać w kolejnej sekcji wystawy. Przypomnę tutaj o tym, że na terenie należy zachować zasady bezpieczeństwa i higieny pracy. Radzę się dobrze skradać, bo na ewentualność jakiejś katastrofy, to wiesz pan... Jakiejś znowu katastrofy. Yeah, his leg is like ja, jak ktoś ma pecha, to mu w drewnianym kościele cegła na głowę spadnie. A tutaj, to jak się pan dasz zauważyć, to pana uka trupią. To na pewno część wystawy? No, I can't turn off the... ale to tylko tak demonstracyjnie, bo to taka demonstracyjna wystawa. W razie W, zawsze możesz pan zacząć jeszcze raz. Okay, turn that off. I don't want to waste my battery. All right, sir. Um... Gotta check around. It's weird that I'm like moonwalking because my character looks. At... <laughs> it's just so crazy animations, dude. Like they animated every possible direction the player could. I mean, I guess it's just no. It is a different animation walking backwards and walking forward. I mean, I guess it's just playing. No, he's like leaning backwards. Interesting. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. Controller crouch. Log date June 11th. Employee name assistant curator. Some Michael Michael Budzinski as ne a newly appointed assistant curator. I was sent to Giorno Colonia by the Museum of Warmia Land to examine the underground tunnels that are to be turned into a living exhibition. Having conducted a visual inspection, I'm to believe much more time is necessary than we initially assumed. Items of factual history value need to be sorted out from the common waste, then prepared and secured. Some, secured. Some are in possession of a group that could p possibly... Proved to be subversive. However, I am sure that after peaceful negotiations, they will gladly help us with this task for the sake of the common good. Okay. Just control to crouch. While crouching, you can move more quietly. I see. And you also need to turn off your... Oh my god, the crouch. It's a powerful crouch you got. <laughs> that is a sneaky one. Uh, is that an enemy? It is. Okay. We're gonna sneaky. He doesn't see us. Mega sneaky. Has no idea. Do I have to... Can I fight? Or no? I'm starting to be sneaky, I so... Oh, I see. So you can't do this while being chased. I'm gonna go behind you. Can I do this? He doesn't. Oh, he did. No, this is the guy. <laughs> I thought that was another monster, but it's the dude. Samym skradaniem to pan daleko nie zajdziesz. Bo co pan zrobisz, jak wszędzie będzie jasno? Ale nie bój pan żaby. Na tablicach będzie coś niecoś o unikach i kopniakach. I jak pan przeczytasz, to zapraszam do zabawy. W wojsku był? Był. No to pan raczej będziesz wiedział. Ścieżka zdrowia. Chyba pan żartuje. <laughs> Oczywiście, że tak. Taka demonstracyjna ścieżka zdrowia. <laughs> Na żarty. Chociaż, jak to mówi dzisiejsza młodzież, jak dostaniesz bułę na ryj, to żarty się skończą. Get sucked on the jaw. The giggles are over. Okay, so we're gonna fight. You found herbs, I see. There's B or space to dodge. Oh, 
Yeah. Here. I see. That's a classic saying. Okay. We're dodging. For space to dodge. Just run. You can't get me. Nope. Oh, God. Uh, what the fuck? Okay, that was interesting. I fucked that up. Because I was dodging too fast. Or too late. Here we go. Head juked. Got him. School notebook with unfinished homework. Describe your imaginary friend and write that you would... Describe your imaginary friend and write what you would do if they were real. What the hell? <laughs> Everyone has an imaginary friend. It's just assumed. Uh... Oh, I gotta push this. Can I not push it? Push it! Or can I jump over it? Just me. I thought I was doing a good job there. Oh, I need to check this out first. November 3rd. I found a shelter to live in. It's like a new chapter in life. So I'm going to write about it. Lit Isidore told me to do so. To keep a log. It's good for keeping the mind busy, he says. Took me from the street and showed me the tunnels. I didn't know you could live there. Thought the police shoo people like us away. So now there's me and Isidore. There's also Jinik, Mundek, and Ladzia. It's so it's dark and humid in there, but it's less cold than in the street. Ladzia said that Provost Antoni will visit us tomorrow. I feel tired, so I'm going to lie down and try to sleep. I won't feel the rain falling down on my head for the first time forever hi there you're the per you found a door let me guess there's a heel zgubiłeś się pan a co to znaków na ścianach nie widać a no może pościągali ale były i see press oh we can kick kicking pushes back enemies it can knock them down some objects such as wooden crates and barrels can be destroyed by kicking <laughs> yeah Kick the grandpa. Hey, Jay. No, do jasnej kurwy nędzy. No, do jasnej kurwy nędzy. Panie, co pan? Got him. <laughs> what did he say? He said all kinds of shit. Kick this. Ah! Kick him. Hey, yeah! Get kicked. Boom. Boom. No, I was supposed to kick you. Can I use heels in any way? Oh god. Oh, I'm fucked. Face. I was trying to. Boom, boom, boom. No! I was trying to. How do I use the heel? Did it tell me to use the heel? How do I do that? Oh, here. I just do it in my inventory, I see. Yeah! Oh. I was trying to kick you! You can kill them? Never mind, they're still alive? What the fuck? Use that. Boom. He's hitting his own head. Can't see anymore. What the fuck? Is, what the hell? Messed up. Kick it! <laughs> Boom! No, I'm trying to juke. All right, just run. You don't need to kill them all. You can't get me. I was trying it. Yes. If you do that fast, that's actually cool. I like the mini game. That's hard though. Okay. Armchairs whose upholstery is covered in cigarette burns and stains. Hopefully it's just blood. Is that the same thing as before in the old house? Same people. Przy wyjściu przypomnieć się o pieczątkę do książeczki turystycznej. Excuse me? <laughs> nice, another one. Common light in a den of thieves. Not many decent, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. This is the same exact thing as before. What is this? Kicking and dodging are useful when you are swarmed by enemies. Both abilities have different strengths and drawbacks. Properly used 
any of them may be a difference between life and death. They added words? Maybe. I mean, then we'll just keep collecting them until we can know the whole story. I just run. You can't get me. Jump. Take it. You keep teleporting, sir. Proszę, proszę. Widzę, że nawet się pan nie zgrzałeś. Aż dziwne. A no tak, przepraszam pana. Zapomniałem powiedzieć o jednej rzeczy. Jeszcze jakieś młodzieżowe powiedzonko? Musimy porozmawiać o energii. Może na następnej części wystawy. Naprzód, młodzieży świata. See, next one. Harsh lessons. No dobrze, teraz możemy rozmawiać o tej energii. Otóż widzisz pan, na dole masz pan taki uh -oh, biały pasek. Jaki pasek? No tu, na dole. On pokazuje, ile pan masz energii. Oh. Naprawdę oh, go oh, nie ma. Hmm. A to szkoda. Ale jak się przestanie o nim mówić, to się pojawia z powrotem. I jak pan coś kopniesz, albo będziesz robił jakieś inne męczące rzeczy, to ten pasek się trochę skróci. To znaczy, że się pan męczy i trzeba trochę odpocząć. Yes. Okay. I see. Okay, that was not there before. Understood. Am I still gonna get enough of this art style? Because a lot of the time when they got like pixelated stuff, it looks kind of like just like a pixel filter, but here it doesn't. It looks like it was actually made for pixel art. The fourth wall break. But yeah. Oh, I'm no tired. No, istą on prawda energią. Czasami jest różnie. Jak pana ktoś walnie, to jest dostaniesz pan w nos, to ten pasek robi się, no, jaki? Krótszy? Nie. Oh no. Ma się rozumieć, Wait. że nie. Krótszy się robi jak pan kogoś kopniesz, albo coś w tym rodzaju, prawda? Jak to pana ktoś kopie, to robi się czerwony. Może ja zrobię, hey, żeby było łatwiej zrozumieć. Uwaga, pokazuję i objaśniam. Oj, oj, oj. What the fuck, bro? Co pan robi? Teraz zapraszam do właściwej sekcji wystawy, w której nauczysz się pan, co zrobić dalej. Proszę się nie przejmować, do wesela się zagoi. You punched me in the face. Oh yeah, I didn't see. Was there a door there? Oh god. I'm hurt now. How are ya? Oj, 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 oj. Noż do jasnej kurwy nędzy. Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> I was just kicking you back. You deserve that one. <laughs> what the hell, man? You kicked me. Why don't I get to kick you? No, wait, he's gonna kill me. No, 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 I'm already dead. Oh, <laughs> I thought he was actually gonna kill me there. <laughs> you piece of shit. You kicked him first? Yeah, well, that's long ago. That doesn't count anymore. <laughs> that's rude, man. Alcohol? How does that make any sense? <laughs> Maximum value of energy depends on your current health. The more you're damaged, the less max health you have. 50% or lower performing a kick or dodge will completely deplete your energy. What the fuck? Damn, this game is hardcore. All right, drink this. Wait, combine it? I guess we need to... Anything else in here? Game Fool's version, you will be able to upgrade his abilities and weapon, I see. Uh, well, I guess I'm just walking forward. While being completely fucked up. Springs sticking out of this mattress aren't the worst. The brownish stains are more troubling. What the fuck? Do I have to- how the fuck am I supposed to get past this now? I'm so damaged. I have to be sneaky. Because I can't even run, right? Uh, no! Ah! No! Was I supposed to be able to heal my sanity? Because this shit is fucked up, man. I can't use the alcohol. It doesn't- it uses rest right out. No proszę. Jaki piękny kawaler. 
Is Wait, excuse me? I'm not fit as a fiddle at all. I missed the door? Oh, I see. Okay, but we survived it anyway. Get fucked. I don't even know what I was doing there. Divine support. I'm probably supposed to combine two things to create something special. Oi, 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 oi. Naprawdę się panu nie podoba? To ja strajkuję. Koniec zwiedzania dla pana. Dopóki pan nie spełnisz moich żądań. Czyli mogę sobie stąd iść? Oczywiście, że nie. To jest muzeum. Ktoś musi zwiedzać, a ktoś musi oprowadzać. Taka jest kolej rzeczy. Od teraz pan jesteś przewodnik, a ja tu zwiedzam. Nie na tym polega strajk. Jak pan chcesz dyskutować, to na moich warunkach. Jako przewodniczący Komitetu Strajkowego prezentuję, prawda, żądania. Do kontynuacji zwiedzania potrzebne jest zakończenie marudzenia i obrazek z papieżem. <grym> obrazek z papieżem? Aha, czyli przestanie marudzenia nie jest takim problemem. Tak, obrazek z papieżem. Przecież to strajk. Na pewno Ojciec Święty go wspiera. Obrazek symbolicznie wystarczy. Przecież jego eminencja to nie będzie się wlógł pod ziemię. Noż do jasnej. <laughs> oh, I got a gun now. You better get out of here. How do I use the gun? Old rice mouse button. I was trying to do that. Energy isn't restored while you're aiming. You can't enter aiming mode in safe areas, but you can. Oh, I see. But you can still reload your weapon. I can't. Oh, I can't shoot here. Come on, I want to shoot his ass. Oh. Wait, that's so cool. What the fuck? Holy. Dude, that's insane. Oh God, sorry, I'm getting, what the fuck is good crazy powers? Oh no, there's one behind me. But why can't you still hit me? You got no fucking... Alright, kill me so I can really restart because I fucked that up completely. <laughs> it's 2D, 3D. What the hell? Oh, come on. You saved me while I was damaged, bro. Now I have to... Oh, fuck. Okay, well, I guess we're just going to dodge mostly. Because killing them doesn't do anything. How did it save the game at that state? So they're just swinging randomly now. Oh my god, this is so hard. I guess I kick him. Just go. Just fucking go. 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 What the fuck is going on? Ow! I'm dead. What? Everyone's exploding. This is some crazy attacks, bro. I wish I could re... Am I full HP? Why didn't it save me with full HP? That is so annoying. I guess the checkpoint got fucked up because I went back after killing a few enemies. Um, okay, so I want to just run as much as possible, I guess. Oh, but I have to do this now. What the fuck? Excuse me. Move it, move it through. I can't dodge. Okay, so I have to make them... Oh, God. No, 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 no. Do the thing. No, oh, David attack specifically. Wait, what? All right, thank you, bye. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? They just, they just didn't do anything. All right, Jesus. I should probably wait to combine. Can I combine this with this? Ah, uh, there we go. All right, thank you, sir. They just let me get away. Uh-oh. Am I just gonna leave? Authorized personnel only. Is Grandpa supposed to be here? Is he mad because I kicked his, kicked him in the butt? Oh no, I need to go here. Uh-huh. Rusty key. Small pouch. I'm finding everything. So this is like Resident Evil crafting stuff. Any unnecessary actions may draw unwanted attention. Make sure to heal and reload your weapons before stepping within the earshot of enemies. Makes sense. Reload. I don't have any ammo. 
Uh, bookshelves full of publications dating back to the early 1900s. Can I go now? I have the key. Oh, fuck. It is Resident Evil crafting. Oh, batteries. Let's go. Okay, wait. What? Is this man supposed to be over here? Did I... Did I break it because I made him mad? Is that what's going on? I feel like he's supposed to be here to tell me more about the game. <laughs> Unless I just need to go back. I guess. Can I... Boom. Did you die, sir? Damn, you are insanely strong. What the fuck? He's on str- Oh yeah, he needed a Poe picture. I remember. This fucking guy, man. Where's the Poe picture? Is that this? Found nails? I'm finding everything. Can I steal them? Wait. What did it say? Oh, whoops. I thought I was picking up the picture there. There's more here. Any unnecessary actions? Why can't I read that one again, but not this one that I missed? What the hell? What a scam. The one I missed, I can't read again. But the one I didn't miss, I can. With the hands, I don't have any more bullets. Uh, I'm gonna kick your ass. I was tr I'm trying to. Oh, I'm out of stamina. That's why. Fucking hell, man. There you go. No more face. Bookshelf was interactable. Didn't I already do that? Yeah, it doesn't... There's nothing there. I am confused. There's something else in that room? I already interacted with like seven different things. Is there eight different things in this room? I picked up like... I got nails. Do I combine this with... Uh, how? Okay. <laughs> I guess. Sure, then. I don't know how nails and gunpowder make bullets, but I'll take it. <laughs> okay, so you're dead. This is very cool. I don't know. I guess I'll go back and just ask him, like, what the fuck are you on about, sir? Alright, I did it. I did stuff, but what do you want? I can't aim here. Picture was there? Where there? I like it looped everywhere. I'm, I'm not getting this one. Shoot in the head so enemies cannot track you. Shoot in the arm so the enemy cannot attack you. Shoot the legs so the enemy cannot chase you. Interesting. Thank you for writing that down. I am confused. Is there another door? Because I got a key. I'm on strike now. This one does nothing. Wait. This is the light switch that doesn't do anything. It's definitely not in here. So then I have no idea where it is. What the fuck? Can I move on to the next phase? I feel like this one's done, right? <laughs> How the fuck did I move on, man? There's an interactable thing in the enemy zone. Yeah, this one. I already picked it up. It didn't do anything. TV sh screen is shattered into a dozen pieces. That's it. I've interacted with everything in the game. But they can't hear me, though, when I walk too much. Is there anything... Can I go further back? There's more enemies here. I don't know why I would... Wait, maybe I... Oh, there's just another area here. That we need to go to, I see. Oh my god. Now, I see, I see, I understand now. Boom. Oh god. Okay, so now he can't track me. I'm assuming I have to open this door. Can I heal? I can't. Man, this game is fucking brutal. And then I open the door, which leads to something else. Don't come this way, sir. Yes. Okay. 
Nails. Aha. Uh -huh. We're just exploring on our own volition now. I wasn't entirely getting that. <laughs> I wasn't entirely informed. Uh, slide projector with pictures to display. And now we have the key. No, never mind. And gun bullets. Oh, I'm just getting showered with stuff, man. No space. Find that. Small pouch. Even more inventory. Is a gun there? We pi we picked up the slide, but that was from wait. Did we pick up an extra another slide in the in this section as well? You can create handgun bullets. Yes, I get that. Uh, let's see. I wish I could heal my ass. Let me use. No, we have nothing. Something here. There. Give me a heal, please. I really need it right now. Oh my God! You're giving me so many bullets. I guess I could use these to make sure. Can we combine this? To make space. There we go. Oh god. Um. Fuck. So I should shoot them in the. If I shoot them in the arms, they cannot attack me. Ah. I see. Okay. I mean, still just not getting hit is like the best. Just using no resources at all seems to be the best strategy. Although you have to unlock these doors. Oh my god, dude. He fucking. How can he not I, I guess I have to shoot both his arms. But that seems to take so many bullets. Man, I wish I, the game would give me a heal. It feels like a bit of a fucking brutal tutorial. If this is the tutorial. Oh god. I have to shoot them all in the head so they cannot chase me while I do other stuff. This is just not enough bullets, man. He has mag magic powers. Uh, I'm shooting you. He just doesn't give a shit. There. Okay, he's on the ground. Wait, his arm is still off. <laughs> God damn. Okay, so he he stomps to use magic shit or something. I see. Oh, when they are distorted, they are harder to remove. Interesting. When they have, like, stuff on it. This is very unique. Okay. Uh, he is headless. Can I just do this? Can I just speedrun? Speedrun. No, he's gonna kill my ass. Man, I really could use a heal game. I mean, I guess I could just shoot all my bullets empty and hope that it does enough damage to kill them all. I'm just used to these games requiring you to, like, save your ammo as much as possible. Oh, okay. He fell on the floor. He's just dead. Wait, so if you shoot the part that's distorted, it just kills them? Is that what's going on? So then if I shoot your leg, you just die? You fucking die? No, but when I shot this guy's head, he just died forever. See? So they're harder to kill, but when you kill them, they're dead. Stop. Well, that's the idea, I think. Because otherwise, like, when you shoot their head, they'll just keep going anyway. No, oh, because if you shoot their head, they usually just keep flailing around. Which for that guy was different. Okay, so now... Yes. Okay, so we have to go... Imagine you get all the way here, and then you have to go all the way back because you didn't get the fucking key. Log date, July 24th. Employee name, assistant curator, Michael, blah, blah, blah. I was unable to conduct a more detailed inspection of the items located in the tunnels. It turned out there are, there are German uniforms from World War II. Books from the... Uh, 1930s and early 1940s. Various pieces of silver cutlery and unique pieces of clothing. I kindly asked the museum board to send un to send professionals who would provide there's fucking moth in my face. I would provide detailed descriptions and help secure the objects. Their help would be needed to clean and sort waste from items that would serve as our future exhibits. One person qualified in negotiations would also be essential to persuade residents to relocate. With a bit of time, it would be our most beautiful exhibition. 
Uh, I see. But this exhibition is fucked up now. Can I get a heal? Oh, it's the Pope. <laughs> I got it. I see. We did it. Can I go in here? Yes. Give me stuff, please. More inventory. November 4th, I had a quiet, quite a good night. Jinek has a bad cough, and he woke me up a couple of times, but I guess I can get used to it. There are many things here in the tunnels. Clothes, single shoes, some furniture, and old equipment, even canned food and some old meds. Isidore says they were left by the German soldiers and people who lived there after the war, and some bums, junkies, and teenagers who ran away from home. In the afternoon, Prov Provost Antoni came here. He gave us some blankets and talked to us. He's a kind man. He asked us what we need and promised to organize a fundraiser in the church. Left us the Bible and showed us what to read first. I think I'm good here. I'm confused about this whole story, but that's probably going to make more sense. Is this finally something that can heal me? Completely restores energy. Is energy... Energy is not the same... God damn it, really not giving me heals, man. Shit's rude. I mean, I guess I can just walk back now. Oh, there. Yes. Can I combine? Please. Let's go. Finally. Okay, now I'm fine. Vroom, vroom, vroom. And that is that is crazy punishing. When you're all, when you're hurt, you can't do anything. Wait. Excuse me. Why do I have to unlock this now? I not already unlocked this before? Grandpa, I need to talk to you. Here, I got for you the Pope. You can be off Taki strike now. Oh yeah. Jak żywy. Zwycięstwo ludu pracującego. Idziemy dalej? Się robi. Teraz musimy nadrobić czas, który żeśmy zmarnowali. We won't meet the quota. Oh no, this is Lethal Gobby all over again. Time to get to the 10k quota. Divine support, the tunnel challenge. Oh, okay. I see. So this is all the training. I'm gonna so suck at this. Pan zobaczysz, tej części demonstracji, zarząd jest naprawdę zadowolony. Dużo się napracowali i mają nadzieję, że się panu spodoba. Tylko nie poopsuj pan, bo dla innych też musi starczyć. Skoro tak się napracowali, to nie powinno się tak od razu zepsuć. O, nie, nie, nie by tak, ale wiesz pan jak jest. I'm gonna check everything. You better give me good stuff. Yes! That's good stuff. Coffee co. Coffee. Is that an actual thing, by the way? Uh, hey, thanks for the messages you left me. I thought I could make some some for you. I first came here because my stinky bum old brothers don't let me play with them. Mom tells me, don't worry, just go play with other girls, but I want to know their secret base. I followed them to find out where they sneak away at night, and then you remember what happened on Saturday. When Rizik found me, he was mad at me, but I told him to let me stay, and I won't tell mom. So now I can play with them. The tunnels are kind of scary and very dark. There are many things there. Smelly clothes, cans with very old food. There's an old fridge and many other things. I also found a pretty mirror, and Ka Casper let me take it home. I'll show it to you when, I, when you come out. Yes, it's okay that you're afraid to come out, but we and the people here are nice. I'll keep writing to you about them and leaving the notes here, so maybe you won't be so afraid. Is this that? Are they talking to the Im imaginary friend? Uh, items at the top of your inventory are assigned to quick slots. If an item can be used from a quick slot, it will show up. Oh. I see. Huge. All right. What if I shoot you in the leg? I can't. Uh, one. I'm just gonna dodge your ass. Fuck this guy, man. I need to kill this guy. No! Oh god. Hi. I'm gonna recover stamina here real quick. <laughs> I already kicked him on the floor. No! You guys go away. Oh my god. That's actually... He's got crazy abilities. Just leave! I just, like, the problem is... That if I take a single hit, I'm fucked forever. So, the cheesing... Can we... Let me just... Can we hop into the... 
Just let's let's do level selection. Let's hop into the tunnel challenge. I think we're ready. It just because I don't want to like spend a ton of time being all secret and stuff when uh, it doesn't matter because it, you don't save anything. So let's see. What is, what are we doing here? I need to. He's got the key. Okay. I see. I will sh kick you because you don't have much. No. He's trying to bite my ass. Yes, he dropped. He didn't drop anything. You die. There we go. Found a rusty key. Left to survive as long as possible. And then every time we get one, we get resources, I see. Log date September 16, 1980. Employee name assistant curator. Uh, the work is going on splendidly. Just yesterday, an elderly resident of Giorna Colonia shared an interesting story with us that can be categorized as a legend. He claims that these passages were built by the Nazis to keep prisoners there and torture them. After the war, the soldiers left the tunnels without unlocking the rooms. It is believed that people were forgotten about and died there haunt this place to this day. It's surely worth being included in our exhibition description. As for the date of opening, still nothing can be said with certainty. But a year and a half seems to be a valid perspective. We're encountering a multitude of technical difficulties, including loss of equipment, electricity shortages, as well as lack of cooperation from the residents. Speaking of which, I want to take notice that my plea for a negotiation expert was left unanswered. Can't see anything here, by the way. Gunpowder, that's bullets. Oh my god! We get so much shit. Excuse me. We are fucking loaded. I got an assault rifle. Thank you. Uh, scrap. I'm assuming that makes better ammo. I would really like this heal if I could see where the fuck it is. Alcohol. Can I combine? I don't. My inventory is going to be very limited here. Oh, I could have just turned on the light. Okay, let's see. Do you also get a key? Oh, man. Dude, that's insane. I should probably use the gun first. Or just kick him, honestly. Well, there's only a few. I should just use melee mostly. It's an insanely punishing stamina system. Holy. Like, any more than one enemy and you're completely overwhelmed. I got a shotgun too. Yes. Can I even take this? It doesn't fit. Yeah, what the fuck? Um, I'm going to... Can I combine this with this? I can for Molotov. I see. We're gonna throw that at the group. Hi. Oh, that's easy. Boom. I juked. And then when you're out of stamina, you... This guy doesn't really have anything. Just open the door. I don't have to kill them. I just want to avoid using resources. Because I think the goal is to get as far as possible. What's the middle door? Yes. Um, turn on lights. So now we're on our own. Is that? Coffee go. Stack. With the rest. I want, so I'm assuming it's like a combination of everything. What would nails and herbs do? <laughs> would that make a uh, coffee go? Batteries. I should turn off my thing in here. All right, he's got a key. Hello, sir. I will shoot you in the leg so you can't be annoying. Wait, that's actually super easy. Oh my God, he's still super fast. Go, 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 go. Direct. Oh, he's got spikies, but I dodged it. What if I do this? Hiya! And now they can't go that way. And then I shoot this guy in the leg. Kick him. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, wait, he went through anyway? But now he's on fire. Oh my god, they're all on fire. Dude, that's insane. Okay, that is very effective. 
Also, my health, please. Thank you. I don't have space, but I will take... I don't feel like I should take a full heal, but maybe we combine... That was a bit of a waste of the battery, but whatever. Small pouch. We have more. Never mind. I should have just taken that first. Only used the basic gun so far. Shotgun shells. I want to blast something with a shotgun. Wait, we have it, right? Yeah, three. Batteries. On the light, please. So this, so like the first part was like a story showcase, and this is a combat showcase. Uh, I don't really need. There's just too much to take, man. I guess I could come back here. I will. It doesn't even fit. It's like uh, survival. How far can you go? It's very dark here. I want to use shotgun. Blast him in the face. Hi, sir. Oh, my God. Oh, he's got a thing. Inventory size. You're a mannequin. Come here. <laughs> Dude, that is mega satisfying. That is so strong. I really like the 2D, 3D style. Blasted. It doesn't recover. Oh god. It's something. It's weird how they sometimes die and sometimes they don't. Look at that. I guess it's just a total amount of damage that kills them. So right there, I did a ton of... I just shot them a bunch. Oh god, I should have reloaded first. And now I just dodge past these guys. Oh, he's got a key! Oh, and I'm stamina deprived. Uh-oh. Shoot this guy first. Wonder... That is so smart, the way that it pops you out in a different camera angle based on where you aimed during combat mode. Oh god. Shit just run! Oh boy. Wait, 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 wait. We can do a little bit. Don't explode me. We can do this. Get wrecked. Right. Damn, that is very... It, also, the furniture goes on fire. That's cool. Can I kick it now? Damn. Yeah, I need you to die. I mean, I guess I don't need... I need you to die because you got a key. And then I can get more resources. It just feels like you would... Uh, I took off his underwear by shooting him? What the fuck? <laughs> He's naked now. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I'm just gonna... Let's just run past. I think we I kind of get the gist of this. If there's no, like, story to it. I'm gonna speedrun. Look at this. Get juked. Get juked. Open the door. Oh, no. I'm dead. Fuck. Oh my god, they're still all following me. Look at this. I can't do this. I'm gonna get myself killed. No! I think I get it. <laughs> I mean... Uh, so you just need to survive as long as possible. Uh, I thought that this was gonna be a little bit more story involved, but I guess it did say it here. Alright, anyway, moving on. Uh, that was very cool, though. I just wanna see the full game. Like, I need, I need more story to fully care about... Uh, like min maxing all my resources there i'm not gonna spend like an hour trying to get as far as possible uh next one is night signal uh oh god it's got one of those old startup screens let's see oh what the fuck it's super shaky let's see yeah that ga this game this game you know this one uh check options first it's very shaky 
Uh, no bloom is fine, but no chromatic aberration that hurts my eyeballs. Uh, foam grain. Foam grain is fine. I mean, starting to look very different. These these are very powerful options. We'll see it in game whether we want to have it. New game. Whatever we planned in our subconscious, I thought it said subscriber's mind. <laughs> and nourished with repetition and emotion will one day become a reality. Earl Nightingale. This is a YouTuber, <laughs> YouTuber motto. Discord light mode. What the hell? Am I high? Playing with a dollhouse or something? Hello there. Pick up the button. Left or right? What the fuck is that picture back there? Oh no. It's every time you go to a hotel, all the challenges are fucked. I can't. There's nothing. Congratulations on your new Hineker television. With your install pack- Can you shut up? Uh, with your install package, you should receive one Hineker remote dial, one Hineker television, one Hineker antenna set. Your remote dial will allow you to switch stations from anywhere. Try it on for size by clicking the dial backwards or forwards, battery included. If your picture is fuzzy, try adjusting the antenna to get a better signal. Warning, antenna do not operate correctly at night. Please refer for frame from using after sundown. I'm gonna do it anyway. You can't stop me. Can I turn off the fucking loud ass noise? Wait, let me quickly restart so we don't have the noise and then just adjust. Well, I guess we have to. Is it supposed to be this fucking loud? Is there, is there an audio adjustment? It's just so loud, man. I should check the options menu. Because when I first clicked, it started to be loud as fuck. So if I don't click, I won't, it won't be loud as fuck. My headache is getting a headache. <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> Hello. Okay, so let's see. Congratulations on your new Hineker television. That's this one right here. Uh, with your install package, you should receive one Hineker remote dial. We have that in our hand. One Hineker television. We got that right there and the antenna set. Your remote dial will allow you to switch stations from anywhere. Try it on for size by clicking the dial backwards or forwards. Batteries included. If your picture is fuzzy, try adjusting the antenna to get a better signal. Warning, antenna do not operate correctly af at night. Please refrain from using after sundown. Enjoy your new television. Also, what is this picture? Sir? <laughs> How is your face? Is it? It looks like it's day outside. So I'm guessing we're fine to use the television now. I'm just checking around here. These are some cursed ass pictures, man. Can I open the door? I cannot open the door. All right, let's see. Turn it on. Chat second. Okay, this ten TV is not working. We need to adjust. Welcome back to Brain Tees, America's favorite trivia show. I'm your host, Humphrey Winters. I'm here with today's contestant, Mark, a school teacher from the town of West Acre. Let's get into it. Contestant, your next question is... Who first discovered the technological capabilities of lunar dust in 1960? Howard Hineker? Correct! <laughs> He's got no expressions. Now watch out, this next one is a real brain teaser. Which actress is best known for her starring role as Ruby in the award-winning sitcom Ball and Chain? Alice Redford? Uh, I'm sorry, Mark, that is incorrect. Rip. The correct answer is Annie Holloway. You're down but not out, Mark. Stay tuned, down, folks. After these messages for more of the same. <laughs> more of the same. No, ads, I'm, What's I'm that going that sound? Out. That's the sound of wisdom. Wisdom you can only get here. You're watching Channel One News. Welcome, folks. I'm Benson Brown, and this is Channel One News. Today's big story is about the latest innovation in technology, the brand new Hineker television set. It's television section? You have no doubt heard about these new devices, as they have skyrocketed off store shelves and into the homes of Americans everywhere. 
Why is an ordinary television so popular? Well, convenience is key, it seems, as this set comes with a state-of-the-art remote dial that lets you access your channel dial from anywhere in your home. Between the remote dial and that crystal clear picture, it's no wonder that this is a must-own item for every household. Is this news sure or just selling a product? As the manufacturer does warn, there are still some kinks to work out when the network stop broadcasting each night. And now, a word right. from our sponsor. Oh, come on. Gosh, I need to get to work on time, but my food is cold. I need to eat in the next 30 seconds or else my boss will have my head. Lucky for you, there's the zippy microwave. Micro what? I don't have time for this. I'm going to be late for work and I'm also hungry. The zippy microwave can heat up anything in just 30 seconds. Watch. <laughs> Check the atomic blast. The fuck is in there? <laughs> We're gonna watch for 30 seconds? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this ad, bro? <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> I don't. I think this is like the worst way of of showing that thirty seconds is very quick. <laughs> I am invested now. I need to. Oh. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> I gotta get me one. Never miss a moment with the zippy microwave. The fuck! I can't believe they actually did that. And now back to our scheduled program. What's that sound? It's the same thing. And now back to ball and chain. Oh, it's this one. Robbie, where'd you put my car keys? I put them in the kitchen, my darling. Robbie, did you clean the kitchen? I did, my darling. Robbie, my keys are in the garbage disposal. Oops, sorry, my darling. Robbie. Disposal. <laughs> oh no, I'll call the plumber. Robbie! Don't turn it on. Excuse me? America? <laughs> what is going on with this television? This concludes our broadcast day. Oh. I see, now it's night, and we're not allowed to use the TV at night, but what if we do? TV Guy, 1963 edition. I don't see anything. Watch the signals. Oh, hey, here we go. We have setups that we need to try. Two parallel lines, we got... One all the way here, one straight, one straight, one all the way here, or all the way to the sides, okay? Let's try the first one first. Oh, wait, no, 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 I want to try this one first. Oh, what? I guess this one only works. Watcher's Eye, a night dedication to eyes everywhere. Its visage brings a jolt of pep and a heart of mind to every household. Its surging energy is yours to wield. Look upon Watcher's Eye and anything is a possibility. Be welcome, Watcher Behold. So we have the, the setups again, I see. Okay, so we're collecting them, so now we do... We have to be on a specific network for this? None of the other combinations work. I tried them all. It's only this one that works. Wait, no, it doesn't work it. Okay, but it only works on a specific channel. So let's see. If we do these, this should work on one of the channels. No? Maybe we gotta look somewhere. Oh, we got. it said that we can use it anywhere. Maybe we need to use it in a specific spot. Mr. Patrick Pinkerton, 
a formerly faithless man who recently found a newfound faith in an unlikely place, tucked away in the pages of his television guide. Unlucky for him, this particular guide was packaged, postage, and shipped from the fog space. I can't come to the funeral, honey. The TV guide said it was too dangerous. I can't. Oh, Patrick, can't you see that this guide is ruining your life? So. It's just a TV guide. You don't understand. It can see into the future, honey. I've shown you. Every show comes on at exactly the time it says. It's a TV guide, Patrick. They schedule these things in advance. <laughs> it's, it's omniscient, dude. How could that be at the door? The fuck is this thing? That's insanely cursed, bro. <laughs> and now back to only father knows. Son, let me tell you what it means to truly be a man. Okay. Being a man, son, means never showing emotion, with the exception <laughs> hey. of violent rage. Okay. Being a man, son, means you gotta put on real big shoes. Not clown shoes, though. Not like clown shoes. Clowns aren't real men. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Son, listen to me. Listen to me closely. When you're a man, the President of the United States will come to your house and shake your hand to congratulate you on your manhood. That's how you'll know you made it. Okay. Son, I must confess something to you. The President has never shaken my hand. <gasps> I'm a fraud, son. Okay. <laughs> And now, a word from our sponsor. <laughs> okay. Gosh, it sure is tiring having to stand up and curse. No, fuck and you. Now, oh my god, ev there's ads everywhere. Gosh, my mouth feels so dry and flavorless. Where can a fella get a good puff when he needs one? Why settle for less when kazoo smokes go down smooth <laughs> and soft smoked? and creamy and delightful for your mouth? Oh no. Kazoo smokes have what you need. Take a rest and light one up for tea, or maybe during lunch hours. Just don't let your boss catch you, or he'll ask you to share. When you need a puff, where do you turn? Kazoo smokes aren't there to burn. Are you not gonna make the sound? I thought you were gonna. Now, isn't a kazoo like a. Uh, doesn't it make like a funny noise? Oh, we're back here? Don't touch that dial. Don't adjust your television. I am doing it right now, I'm sorry. Welcome back to Wheel Spin. Let's say it together, everyone. Wheel! <laughs> what the fuck? That is not a very circle wheel. That is a very janky ass. Is it never gonna stop? <laughs> this is like that one game in Neopets, remember? Where you spun the wheel and it took like fucking 30 minutes for it to stop? <laughs> this shit was such a scam. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> oh, come on, man. I wanted to see where it landed on. <laughs> It's the end of television again. The cliffhanger. This concludes our broadcast day. Okay. Anything new on the team or any new on here? Welcome, fellow watcher. Your eyes been opened. Rejoice. The more you watch, the better you'll see. Seek more signals tonight and let the guide teach you its blessings. Okay, then. Let's try this one. What the fuck is this one, dude? That is very uncomfortable. The feelers. Ticklish entertainment guaranteed to make you wiggle. The feelers send an invitation for you to take part in the shenanigan. Feel a tingle and a tickle. It may be a fantabulous fingerful. Feeler at your feet. Excuse me. What the fuck? So we still we're needing more pages. All right, then fuck this one. I don't like that. Um, I'm tiny. I'm melting. I'm melting. Goo goo, goo goo helps you remember the small time you are nothing. 
You are but pathetic flesh mass. You are small, you are melt. Deser desire Desirables out of reach, melting. You are slime, goo goo brings you back. The simpler time. <laughs> what the fuck? Can I not, please? Okay, I'm, I'm rising up again. Wait, this is super cool. Oh, no! No, not the feelers! No, not the feelers! What the fuck? No, they're everywhere. I can't escape them. Oh, God. Oh, wait, they actually hurt me. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, I'm gonna die. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Help me. What did I do? Oh, I can shoot. The fuck? Excuse me? <laughs> That's my stuff. Oh, it's getting day again. Let's go. We're fine. Blabber. Fun, relatable conversation to have come out of a mouth. Listen with sincerity. Talking about anything just as a close personal companion would in a shop for water beads. Take your time for blabber. No, 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 I don't want to melt. No, 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 I fucked up. Feelers, no. Don't do that one. Am I healing? Okay, what, what the fuck is going on? It's normal to be scared, Watcher, but they harm us not to punish, but to teach. Study them, see them, you are well on your way. Okay, so what is the feeler one? It is... Is it on this channel? No, this is the Watcher one, right? No, there's nothing here. This one was feelers, right? Can we see it? I don't want to go to the feeler channel anymore. Feeler is this one, so don't go to fourth channel on this one, because you're gonna see feelers. Okay. So avoid the fourth channel. I run channel one now. We can check channel two and channel three. What are you oh wait, what? What are you looking at? That's the fog. Brain team. Our local weather report with Spencer Hansen. Thank you, Benson. As you know, we've been having quite the tizzy of non-stop fog this past week. As thick as your mother's broth. Today is more of the same, with the fog getting even thicker. That's some broth, folks. Be sure to keep a sharp eye out on those roads today. Or better yet, stay indoors if you have nowhere to be. You'll want to keep yourself bundled up, too, because, baby, it's cold out there. Looking to hit less than five degrees today. That's what we call hot chocolate weather where I'm from. <laughs> Delicious. Back to you, Benson. He's so energetic. Thank you, Spencer. In other news, we've received word today that yeah, the West Acre the Chili Contest is still going ahead as scheduled, despite the harsh weather and recent disappearance of last year's contest winner, Mark. Beeble, Wargle, Fru, Neebspoo, Wobble, Beeble, Boo, Boo. Yippee, yippee! Whoa, deagles, pun, non, non, shoo, peel the bone. Waggle, 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 do not the fog, stay beeble, orb, dipper, de glipper, watch, noopers. What the fuck? And now, a word from our sponsor. Beeble, Robert, yeah, okay, I get it. No, we already read And now, back to cave family. Cave, why? Why did you put my cave keys? I put them in the cave kitchen, cave husband. It's the same thing. Did you clean the cave kitchen? I did, cave husband. Cave why? My cave keys are in the game garbage disposal. <laughs> oh no, I'll call the cave plumber. Cave why? The cave plumber is my cave boss. If he sees me like this, I'm going to be fired. Oh, no. Wait, I know what to do. What? <laughs> what just happened? And now a word from no. our sponsor. What's it going to be? 
Gosh, I sure am tired, but I just can't fall asleep at night thanks to my constant horrific nightmares. <laughs> What's a fella to do? Say goodbye to bad dreams forever with the Sweet Dream Radio from Henniker. <laughs> Our patented lunar technology emits sweet dreaming signals straight into your dream receptors, assuring a peaceful night's rest, all while listening to the classic tunes you love. Wow, finally a good night's sleep. Thanks, Henniker. Nothing more sweet than a good night's sleep. Sweet dream radio. Let's and go. And now, back to our scheduled program. <clears throat> and now, oh, back to no. <laughs> no, it's over. Okay, we need to find more shows. Okay, let's see. So, we can check more on this channel. <laughs> what is this? Literally, what is this game? Don't worry about it. This concludes our broadcast day. Right, set it to straight. Okay, this one. We fit Babbler, but that's fine. No! 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 <laughs> I didn't realize what was happening! <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? I've been killed, bro! <laughs> what the fuck? I was being crushed by the ceiling. <laughs> okay, wait, do we still have our things? Yeah, 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 okay. No, we still we still have our things. Okay, so it did it just to reset us because we died. It is still night. Wait. Is it like Oh it's it's ending the programming now, I see. <laughs> I think I'm broken. Okay, so now we were doing yeah this one. What the fuck is that one? And I fixed. It. Stop it. What is this one? Flathead. Flathead makes you top drop. Tops need to be top with flathead. Enjoy the crumble of tops as they descend. You can be a flathead too. Sing the song of flat and merriment. Crumble, 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 crumble. Excuse me. All right, this one is fucked up. Let's do another one. This is dangerous, huh? Let's check. Kazuzu? What's that ear piercing sound? It must be Kazuzu time. This form gives way to the mo best in audible experience. Soundscapes for your unborn offspring to dance the night away. What the fuck? My walls are crumbling. Shouting one. Silent shouts make the day slide. Feel strong, raw anxiety inside. Let it out, let it ride. You become what you are afraid. Scream as loud as you want, but noise do not. It's almost time, but not yet. Shout now or shout never. Feelers are on channel four on this one. I'm slowly breaking my house, man. What the fuck is this? Beazel! Laughing antics and chortle experiences are provided for the whole family unit. Join Beazel every night and share in the belly fun. If you can't make time for Beazel, Beazel will surely make time for you. So I can't go to the next channel because that's going to be feelers, right? Yes, yeah, so don't go to channel 4 on this one. So we move it. Bubble. Uh, did we check all of them now? I feel like we did. Yeah, this is the crushing one. Or this one, maybe? Yeah, we did. I think we checked every channel. Can we go back to Cave Family, please? This shit's a little cursed. Also, my house is completely screwed up now. I got Beeble Babble shit all over the wall. 
Beeble Wardle Fruit, Nups, Pop, Wobble, Beeble, Boo, Boo. Okay, it's, it's becoming day again. We're fine. What was the channel? Oh, here. Oh, there's another letter. Your eyes are adjusting. See as you are meant to see. Do not lose faith, watcher. Can't see any. I'm Benson Brown, and this is Channel One News. Can see this one. Today's breaking story is a tragic one, I'm afraid. The Westacre Chili Contest has been canceled. We Chilling contest? This morning, as the Westacre Mom Council informed us that due to another unfortunate disappearance, there would no longer be enough qualified chili tasters to judge. Chili. The, the Westacre Mom Council is currently on the lookout. For potential replacements with the right qualifications but such talents are hard to come by on such short notice a sad day for chili fans everywhere and now a word from our sponsor my tv is falling apart man do i need to move the channel well the only thing that works is like when they're both sideways it's the only one that actually works somewhat. Doggy? Wait, when I go further away, it goes better? Oh, it's completely fucked. I think I broke my television, man. I don't think there's a way to get the channels back. It's only- No, and it's going night now. Oh, fuck. We need to not be on channel four here. Okay, set it back. Here we go. Okay, well, we didn't really get to watch any cave family. I'm so sad. I can't go to bed without my- Without my cave family. Ow! Fuck. Humdrum, the bug of one and only. Humdrum wants to make the bad in your body good again. Let your fleshy fruit blossom bloom with the hum. Space your thoughts and have no quarrel with Humdrum. The fuck? Sweets, make your time for thought with sweets. Thought of the unknowable, make unheard wishes to those inside the fog. Your wish come true, sweets knows it won't, but sweets can't be stopped. Sweets much must wish. Keep wishing, keep wishing. Hey, thank you, what's up? No, don't do it! Oh, Jesus, everything is falling apart, bro. I can't see shit anymore. Get out of here. Save me. No, feelers, fuck, I fucked up. No, 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 don't send it to that channel. That channel's even worse. I'm dying. Fuck, how? What am I doing? What is happening? Oh, the oh no, there was a feel at my feet. <laughs> I thought I was being channel killed. Whoops. <laughs> like, this shit is terrifying, man. Okay, wait, do we still have our thing? So what do we got right now? We have, let's see. So this one, check. And we have the second one is Beezle, the, the like laughing thing. Then we get the feelers, which is annoying, and Kazuzu. Uh, then we still missing something on this one. We only have Babel on the two straight ones. This is all missing. Besides that, everything is missing. Then we have Flathead. Uh, the shouting one, which is terrifying. Goo Goo. Yes. I think it needs to, yeah, do this again. <laughs> So what's going on now? 
I'm fine with you, right? No, 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 you're not fine. But what do I want you? Okay, so I need to collect these still because I died. I need to collect all of them again. And I just need to survive the channel. What does he do though? Will he actually kill me? He doesn't. I think he heals me. I think he's actually good. I'm pretty sure he heals me instead of uh, killing me. Okay, don't do that one. Okay, this is fucking sweets again. God damn it. Okay, so no, 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 that doesn't stop anything. Okay, now the straight one. That's Screamy. That's the guy that heals you. Okay, everything is fucked up, man. This is like SCP television. Okay, so here there is. Don't do the feelers. Dabble, and that's it, right? Okay, I think we got them all. Because the only channel I didn't visit was the feeler channel, but I don't want to visit that one anyway. Um, unless I missed this one? No, no, no. This one is like the fucked up channel with the roof that goes down. and This is like the worst one. Fuck this one. <laughs> I hate this one. My roof is like getting lower and lower. I can't see anything, bro. Can we get the normal television back? Day is coming. I think we're fine. Stop it. Yes. Okay, chill out. There was a knock at the door? Can I open the door? I think this is just the Beeble Bargle. Yeah, this is nothing. Can we get our normal TV back? Yeah, I think we're trying to find all the channels and learning what they do. Can I look through the people? Wait, I can. Oh my god! <laughs> the fuck is at my door, man? Um. Oh, it's gone now. I can't even watch normal television anymore. I'm addicted to the fucked up shit now. I miss the normal TV. Okay. Oh, K family! Talk to me, K-Family. I need you. We're just gone. This is all fucked up. Oh, we got a new letter. We got a new letter. The days become shorter as the nights grow longer. The glorious fog is coming to take the faithful. Seek more channels. Grow your knowledge. The everlasting night is nearly upon us. Someone is screaming. This is like the thing in Project Zomboid where every TV makes the same. This kind of sounds like the sound that Project Zomboid's TVs make. If you've ever played Project Zomboid and you notice that every single TV just repeats the same three lines over and over again, it drives me insane. <laughs> Whenever I play the game, oh, what the hell is going on? is this quackers quack 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 it is quackers mouthful of bread flutter and swim so swell swollen so wet gristle and crunch with the tune of quack whole family is entertained by quack antics what the fuck they're they're flying feelers man i hate it here i can't shoot okay what the fuck? Those guys? Can I get healed? Yeah, it does heal you. Okay, let's check this channel. Oh, no. Okay, there's another one. I will never have to go back here ever again. Fuck this one. Skelly Welly. Skelly is pleasing your, to your bones. Feel your bones. Listen to them. They desire the soil. And Skelly Welly aims to please. Skelly gives the gift of soil to all watchers that wish. Wish for your bones. I don't know what the fuck. Oh! There's a skelly on the thing. Hello. Hi. He's looking at me. Oh! Oh no! Help! I fucked up! I fucked up! I fucked up! I fucked up! I made a mistake! Skelly Willy, please! Skelly Willy, no! What the fuck? 
I can't deal with this fucking channel, bro. <laughs> that shit is impossible, dude. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> what the fuck, man? That is so hard. What is... Wait. So this one... I need to go to... Oh damn, we got four, we got two, we got... Wait, we had another one. Didn't we have that? Whatever. How do you survive him? I think we gotta shoot him, no? I don't understand. Oh, here we go. Okay. So I need to get Skelly though, no? Let's check these channels first. We have this one again. Okay. Okay, with these I gotta shoot, which are, these are annoying, but it's fine. Stop. Okay, there we go. So now let's check. This one is the one with the feelers on the fourth one. What channel are we on? Oh no! I was, you piece of shit. I didn't know. Oh no, feelers. Help, they're so annoying. Okay, I have to go forward. Okay, there's nothing there still. So we still need to just check the third channel of this one. Check straight, what the hell is this? The night orb, <laughs> AKA the moon. Tell it like it is. That's the motivation of this sacred orb. Witness the light of forbidden knowledge. Feel the vibration of your skull. Know it is truth in your sensations. Keep the secrets deep inside your brain hole. Excuse me. Babble, babble. Okay. So now we need to do... What is... Oh, hi. Whoa, it's a ball. Okay. We need to check... No, Skelly! I checked Skelly! No, 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 Skelly man! I'm gonna die to you again! What the fuck am I supposed to do? Oh, wait, I can't kill him. Okay. I don't know what's happening, man. Like, which channel am I supposed to be in? Which channel have I not seen yet? Let's see. This one? Okay. Wait, which ones are we still missing? We are still missing. I think we still need to do another night. It's getting so hard to navigate these channels because every single one of them spawns something fucked up. Uh, Quackers. Okay, can we just chill? I think I survived. Something at my door? Oh my god. Yep. You can't go come in. What is with the orb? Can shoot the orb? Can't shoot the orb. Okay, this channel is safe. This is a safety channel. Is it though? What channel am I on? Okay, glowing orb. This one, this whole thing seems to be fine. Yeah, the middle one is safe. So that's our like, if we need to go somewhere quick. The the most dangerous one is the one where this left or right one is to the right. Um. Fuck, something just came through the door, I think? The time is nigh. Watcher's night is upon us. The night the faithful will be saved. Find the remaining gaps in your knowledge. Seek signal wisdom in its entirety. And you too may experience the eternal bliss of the fog. Still there? Nope. Okay, then. Can I get my TV back? Watcher's night is upon us. All right, then. <laughs> we still need to find so many things. Oh, my table's on the... My table is broken. Can it be night already? It's spooky, man. Help me, orb. It's becoming night. Is it still gonna play the... 
American flag thing. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Still does that. Can't go without. Okay, let's see. We need to fill the gaps in our knowledge. So this one is safe, right? No, 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 no. Okay, I'm fine. Check this one. There's the orb. No, 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 what the fuck is that? What did it do? Hubs. Hubs knows what is the best. He is the one and only Hubs. The ground on which you stand is slow, weak, gooey, in Hubs' righteous eyes. You cannot live up to Hubs' standard. Wait, so it makes me slow? Fuck. No, I'm slow, so I can't survive all the other monsters, man. <laughs> True gaze. Gaze gives sight to the watching, to the watching. Let gaze see inside. Gaze gives the eyes the strength to fulfill. Be fulfilled and seek the new true. Feel proximity to the fog and rejoice. Okay. Um, is this one bad? Do I? Oh, they're all the paintings are eyes now. Okay, I see it. So which one is are we still missing? Because we need to be careful with these. Because some of these are terrifying. Um. So let's start from the beginning, because we actually have almost- Wait, we have almost filled the entire guide. There's just one thing that we're missing. Feelish we want to avoid. Uh, what are we still missing? There's like one place. I think it's on the... It's on this chat. Oh no, Skelly. No, that one's safe. Skelly, please. Skelly, please. Fuck, I don't want to be on Skelly. I can't even shoot anymore. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I don't even know what's happening. I'm f I'm on the floor. I'm on the floor. It's everything is crazy. Okay. Don't go to that channel. <laughs> don't go to those one. Holy fuck, man. <laughs> Shit is impossible. Okay, here we go. Wait, what channel was that? Which channel is Skelly on? Skelly, here. We need to never go to straight and right because we already have all channels on that one. So don't go to that one. Um, they're not in order at all. I hate it so much. Okay, so let's see. Well, we can go to, to this, I think. We need to go to two straights. Okay. Yeah, we should get the guy to heal us. Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean to, what the fuck? Stop, stop, dude, what the fuck? I was trying to set it up straight, but everything is going to shit. Ah! What the fuck is going on, man? I'm just trying to change the damn antenna and it's just spawning a bunch of shit. There's a skelly willy, where did you come from? Fuck off, sir. What the fuck? <laughs> shit is impossible. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm trying to set up the channel. Can I change it already? Let's set it to straight. Because we know straight is the, the two straights are safe. Right? I think. Can I be? There we go. Okay. Oh no, it's just fucking gooey guy. Okay, hubs. Babble. This one was fine, right? And then it's glowing orbs. Okay, so we've checked all of the the straight ones we have. The we cannot go to this one to the right. So instead, we'll go this one first. It has the orb guy. We don't want to go to channel four on this one, which I don't know what channel I'm on. So let's see. Okay, we're on channel four right now. So let's go to one. And then check all these, except the fourth one. Instead, we'll do this. And now we need to check the missing one here. There's one more. Yes. What is this one? Um, the TV is growing. The door. Only wide open eyes can see. Can you see? Can you hear? Wishes, tastes, and good noises await, await those who enter. Enter and be free of the soil. Be free of the static. 
Be free of feet. Be free of mind. Enter or do not leave. I think that's all, right? I think we filled the guide. There's no empty page. Yep. All right. I think we enter. How do I enter? <laughs> what? Is it still growing? Or oh, I think it's just slowly opening the door. Open. What in the fuck? Chili tasters? <laughs> is that what we did? This is one of the most insane horror games I've ever played. <laughs> what the hell? That was amazing though. That was very well done. It's like, how the hell can you make something that unique? That is like, I've played so many indie horror games and most of them have like at least a bunch of stuff in, in common. This game had nothing in common with any horror game I've ever played. So yeah, definitely. Very well done. That was super fun. I hope you enjoyed that if you're watching over on YouTube. If you are not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join, I love the game share and chat. You can join us over at twitch.tv slash Click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs> Did we get anything special? No, that, there we go. Our book, when we get to see all the crazy stuff. That was amazing. I'm Nick Lives, the creator of Night Signal. You were high as fuck when you made this. Don't lie to me. Wait, the, if you're reading this, it means you played the whole game through to the end, and I appreciate your time and eyeballs. It's a peek into the game's art process, regardless of what you thought of it. Night Signal is the result of a whole lot of love and messy labor. Enjoy this. Look into the... What the fuck? I'm just gonna look at the art, not... Oh, this... It was play! Ah. What the fuck, man? Skelly man. Jesus. The disgusting eyeball. Oh, it's like a bug. What is that? Cereal? Wait, I... We didn't see it as much about the normal TV. Like, we, we... We couldn't watch the normal TV after a while, which was unfortunate. Uh, that, dude, that was sick. Alright, well, anyway, next game. That was awesome. Well, so much effort. Uh, let's do this one. Lancaster leak entity exam. Yeah, that game was that felt like a like an art project, like an uh, like if you do your ga game design in university or something. That feels like like what your final <laughs> thesis or something looks like. Uh, this game contains flashing lights. Okay. <clears throat> it should pop up. Here we go. Uh, adjust graphics and volume in the settings. There's no pause menu. This game briefly uses webcam and computer file name. If you do not want this, opt out in the settings. I will have to opt out because the webcam will crash because I only have one. Uh, opt out. Thank you. And I also don't want you guys to, <laughs> to see my computer files, you bunch of creeps. Uh, yeah, there we go. Is, do we need to adjust this? This is just annoying. High qual. I love the options here. High quality. That's all we got, baby. That's like <laughs> that. This is this gives me the same vibes as like you know when you get like a product that has like a random like meaningless scale on like when you get like a hair gel or something and it's like this is a nine out of ten quality hair gel on our on our made up fucking scale. 
of bullshit or like a like a spicy skill you get like a, a three a three habanero so out of five habaneros i swear to god this is the spiciest shit you'll ever find on the skill that we made up that's this right here <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm not gonna- why is it all the same? Anyway, just don't touch that. Okay, um... Yes. Let's start. Fly me. We are getting the feeling that you aren't taking us seriously. What do you mean? We just started. No acknowledgement of missing Valerie or the tapes we are leaking. This time we decided to reveal something a little bit closer to home. An old screen recording of one of your training protocols. If she isn't re released, maybe the next leak will show how useless your training is. Does the agent body cam footage ring a bell? I have no idea what's going on. Also, it's breaking. Entity research department. Hi. Login user. Password. Pickles. Don't use my password. <laughs> Required learning modules and practice quiz. Zero out of six completion. Face detection. That is my actual password. <laughs> D research, there has been one constant. Entities who possess human characteristics are the most violent, deceptive, and are the greatest threat to public security. It is imperative that agents have the skills to not only detect potential threats but fast. BRD has found the one-year agent fatality rate goes down from 34.7 per 100 to 26.2 per 100 that is still after insanely high. and being proficient in this skill. That's still one in four chance of fucking dying, bro. Using your cursor, click on the face in the image in the allotted time. Distractions may be employed. Distractions may be employed, okay. Click on the Begin. face. I'm stressed out already. Okay, I see. I, we gotta find. We gotta. Okay, understood. What the fuck is that thing? Um, these are fucked up faces. My God, these are insane images. New capture technique. <laughs> what the fuck? Even sound. It's <laughs> like so little time, like two seconds. I wonder if you can just click anywhere on the screen and it'll count. Or if I'm actually doing- <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Holy sh- I clicked on the face, what do you mean? This shit scared the crap out of me, man. I got 18 out of 19, <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> oh my god. Whew. Okay, I see, I see, I see. One out of six completion. Let's do situate and troning. Situation troning, please. <laughs> Goodness this Christ. module has been created to address and rectify observed deviations from established protocols, reaffirming the essential principles that all ERD agents are expected to adhere to consistently. Lesson one, cert. Cert. Okay. CERT stands for Calmly Collect Evidence, Eliminate Threats, Run Away, and Terminate Self. 
Excuse me. Given an interaction with an entity, these are the order of actions an agent will take during expellation. Um, First, can we of do course, sir instead? Is data collection, as research remains the top priority of ERD. Second, eliminate the threat, unless such entity is on the preservation list. A dead entity can be studied, a dead agent cannot. If fighting back is futile, agents should run. If running is futile, agents should terminate themselves. Let us look oh, at an okay. example, where an agent didn't follow the principles of CDRT. So it's not, it's it's like a, a class, it's like an order. In 1989, order. agents redacted while collecting them. data on Entity 59 Skinwalker. Order. Suddenly cornered, agent redacted fired all 12 shots of his service pistol into Entity. With no bullets left, redacted was subjected to Entity 59 as rep. <sighs> Remember to search. Remember to keep an extra round. <laughs> I see. <laughs> this video is another example. Think, following the values of search, what would you do? Uh oh. What is going on? Some home footage. We're gonna get so jump scared. Another face. Oh my God. Um, then I, do I have to make a choice? Lesson two, oh, okay. do's and don'ts, improvements we need in ERD. To interact with entities, if new data can be collected. Don't risk losing don't. obtained data by interacting too much. Do help co-workers gather data. Don't become friends with co-workers. <laughs> do terminate co-workers who leak data. Don't hesitate. Explain later. Don't. No friends. Lesson three: Follow mission protocol. This game is fucked up, man. Deviation from mission protocol endangers yourself, co-workers, and data collection. Assisting civilians is strictly forbidden unless stated otherwise in mission protocol. Reminder: The punishment for deviation is termination. Not the termination of, like, you get fired, I'm assuming. <laughs> in 1990, Agent Redacted was on a mission studying an entity. The entity was located at Agent Redacted's house. Agent Redacted tried and successfully saved his wife. Agent Redacted didn't follow protocol and both him and his wife were terminated. What? What do you mean? What was- This concludes the refresher. We will not remind about these topics again. See your supervisor if you have questions. He wasn't allowed to save the wife? Is that what's going on? What the fuck? A multiple question quiz about uh -oh. these topics will now commence. Oh no. This is like school. Begin. I hate it here. <laughs> An entity has killed your partner but is no longer exhibiting hostile behavior. What should you do? Um... <laughs> collect evidence? I think. If he doesn't do hostile behavior, we'll collect some evidence. Correct! It is a perfect time to collect more data. <laughs> After a mission, an entity unknowingly followed you home. You have tried to shoot the entity, but your efforts are futile. You are cornered in your room. What should you do? Terminate self. Correct. Have enough self-respect to give yourself a painless death. <laughs> you are carrying newly discovered data about an entity. You hear your partner upstairs cry for help. You know you could probably neutralize the threat attacking your partner. What should you do? We need to collect evidence most of all, right? Run away? Run away. I mean, this is what they want to hear. Correct. Do not risk losing collected data. This is fucked up. You have a do no interfere order on a mission studying an entity. 
The entity is killing civilians, one of which is your friend. You have been given a weapon strong enough to neutralize the entity. What should you do? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> This <laughs> is fucked up. <laughs> Correct. Follow mission protocol. <laughs> I don't like this test. You overhear your superior talking about a plan to leak data from ERD. You are worried that you will be in trouble for solving the issue. What should you do? Terminate your boss. Do nothing. They probably know something you don't. Record the conversation and report your boss. Ask your boss to explain the conversation. Terminate. Correct. Don't hesitate. Every second you don't terminate is another second data could be leaked. <laughs> what the fuck? I passed. I'm so good at this. <laughs> I wish I wasn't. <laughs> don't hesitate. Terminate. <laughs> All right, then. Doppelganger detection. Here we go. <clears throat> oh. Due to its emergence as one of the most common and dangerous entities, special training on doppelganger detection was doppelganger? created. Doppelganger? <laughs> Originally thought to be its own entity type, the doppelganger is rather a class of entities who visually and audibly mimic humans. Doppelganger, dude. <laughs> Doppelgangers can be detected from their abnormal features. The most common attributes to look for are loose skin, missing features, and incorrect features. Further classification of the Peldangers can be made by observing the abnormal features. Loose for skin. example, skinwalkers always have loose skin. However, identification is covered in a different module. Okay, so is the earlobe in his uh, cheek? Using your cursor, click on the doppelganger amongst the humans. Oh no. Don't make me do this timed. Begin. Don't make it timed. I'm gonna lose. Uh, this one. Okay, it is timed, but we got a lot of time. Uh, what the fuck? What the hell? This one looks a little fucked up. Feels bad to say though. I think it is that one. <laughs> the eyes are not right. Okay, that one. <laughs> These are. What if they're real people? Okay, you are looking mighty angry. Your features are not right. This is harder than. They made it sneaky. Your skin is all loose. Uh, what the hell is with your eyes? <clears throat> uh, your, f your eyes are missing. Your skin seems loose or weird. Okay. <laughs> some of these are obvious, some of these are super hard. Uh, what? I don't- what the fuck? This one looks a little off, I'm not sure. They all look pretty normal. Um, your eye- What? I don't get it. This one? They all look- this one, okay. No eyebrows? Your skin is weird, it's, it's going like super fast now. <laughs> Wait, what? That looks terrifying, but it might just be like- Okay, I passed 15 out of 15! What the hell, man? <laughs> yeah, they're going so much fast, faster now. Alright, absolutely flawless. That was a tough one. Alright, doppelganger detection has been done. Image recognition. Here we go. Um, this training module is to practice with reaction skills oh, no. on determining if something is a friend. <laughs> or a foe. Okay. Answer in the allotted time, else it will be marked incorrect. Uh oh. Begin. Okay, Ducky. We love duckies. Uh, no threat. Okay, right is no threat, left is threat. Uh, 
It's just the hallway. So far? Incorrect! It was so far away, how could it be a threat? We're so focused. Okay, then. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's going to scream at me. Wait, that was the same picture as before. Holy zombies. One of these is going to scream at us. I still don't know why that one was a threat. So many non threats. Okay, dude. Bloody windows. Jesus. Dude, you only get to see him so short now. This is like GeoGuessr. This is like. Didn't get me this time. I got one miss. Oh, wait, we're not done. What? It was like, oh, it was skulls. Skulls are not a threat, but like a window three blocks away is a threat. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? I mean, I guess it was just a skull. It's not going to kill you. But I thought it was like attached to something. Dude, you are actually cheating. You are, uh, you're leaving me until the last split second before you give me the chance to even see the image, bro. Why even ha Okay, I missed two. I mean, that was pretty good, though. The skull I got, I said, was a threat when it wasn't, and the bloody windows, for some reason, were a threat, but still. That's a damn... That's an a, a right there. Uh, now it's time for audio transcription. Time for cursed audio. Agents must be able to accurately transcribe audio coming from the usual type? sources. Or no. Besides being able to detect incoming attacks, agents must document what entities say during encounters, as research remains the number one priority. I get it. How are we gonna Type do into this? the console while oh, you're no. here, and press enter when complete. Okay. My mic is so in the way when I want to type. Begin. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Uh, the brown... Well, the quick... Quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. These are long. Do not look behind you. You are weak and replaceable. Replaceable? Is that how you type that word? <laughs> Just like there should be an E in there, but that doesn't look right. Replaceable. Clap, 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 cloudy. With a chance of rain. Everything is fine. fine, fine, fine. Yeah. I don't see, 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 see the sun often. Don't leave me here. What? There's a replay? Oh, replay. Don't leave me here. Don't leave me here, but like super fucked up. 
Get out of my eyes. Get out of my eyes? Get out of my eyes. What the hell, man? You're my now, Robert is about to kill himself. <laughs> Excuse me, come again? It says something, Robert. Too late now, Robert. Should have killed himself. Too late now, Robert. Something gun. Too late now, Robert. Should have killed himself. Shoot the gun. Too late now, Robert. Did off himself. Yes. I think that's... No! We suck. Yeah. Bro, these are so fucked, man. I'm increasing my volume so I can. I cannot hear anything. Dad, it's me. I'm home. Dad, it's me. I'm home. But it doesn't say it's me. It's like it's me. Hey, it's me. I'm. Um, it's, it's dad. It's me. I'm home. Or hey, it's me. I'm home. Yeah, it's me. I think it's this. I genuinely did not. What the fuck is that? I am some not with you. I want to play with you. I want to play with you? I want to play with you. I want to play with you. Yes! Don't you forget me. Is that you? Dad, is that you? I didn't hear anything. I'm sorry, guys. I have to do it again. <laughs> yep. All right. <laughs> that was fucking hard, man.
I don't, the fact that I only missed three there is pretty crazy. <laughs> this is actually really cool. I've never had like an actual like, cause there's been a, quite a few games like this that are like uh, exam like, but they're just really simple horror games. They're like click on the face that's fucked up. And then it's like obvious, but this one actually makes you work for it. <laughs> Entity 101. Entities are otherworldly beings that humans have been encountering for thousands of years. For once was a rare sighting, entities have begun appearing more rapidly through time. This led to the founding of the Entity Research Department. Okay. <clears throat> The RD goal is researching entities to protect the public but more importantly, finding utility in entities, and where they come from. The leading theory of, where they come from is backdoors, <laughs> yet no physical evidence has been found yet. That, s, where you come in. As an agent of ERD you will be conducting highly confidential research missions to explore the gain of function of entities and finding their origin. This brief module will explain how entities are classified and show you the four entities okay. ERD are focusing on in 1992. We need to remember the classes. Entities are given an ID but are often given a nickname. Some entities are given a class that link them to a family of entities. Entities are classified okay. in three ways, threat level, containment, and utility each rated by five levels. <clears throat> I see. Negligible, critical, okay, so high to low. Entity, E549. Nickname, Shadow People. Class, Doppelganger. Threat, Moderate. Containment, Extreme. Utility, Significant. Shadow People, or Night Terrors, torment their prey during night when there is low visibility, often in bathrooms, when the prey is sleeping. Paralyzing their prey during sleep, Shadow People will ominously watch from a distance. It isn't known why shadow people choose to kill, as they will often torment the same subject for many years, but when they do, the victim isn't touched. To the civilian world it seems the subject died in their sleep. The research goal this year is finding out how shadow people choose their prey, and if this can be influenced. If so, E549 could be used in advanced interrogation techniques. Jesus, okay. So containment extreme means it's hard to Entity, contain. E718. Nickname, Matronic. Class, Machine. Threat, Low. Containment, Easy. Utility, Moderate. Matronics take the form of animatronics, playful figures that appeal to children. Matronics prey on children with no known case of an adult victim. It isn't known where Matronics bring their children prey, however, they are never seen again. Matronics, although dangerous, they are easy to terminate and capture. The past five years, agents of ERD children have been targeted by Matronics and have taken 107 to date. The research goal this year is finding why Matronics are targeting agent children and how to redirect their targeting. Redirect their targeting, I see. Purple Entity, guy. E59. Nickname, Skinwalker. Class, Doppelganger. Threat, severe. Containment, moderate. Utility, significant. Skinwalkers are ancient shapa shifters usually taking the form of animals and uncommonly humans, stealing their skin in the process. Skinwalkers are incredibly violent and when killed leave behind nothing but their body vector. Skinwalkers have a hard time replicating the natural movements of creatures they take control of. Skinwalkers can often be identified by unusual eye size or loose skin. The research goal this year is finding a systematic way to identify skinwalkers 99% of the time and finding out defensive measures that can be taken to prevent loss of possession of body. Loss of possession of body. Entity, E59. Nickname, The Rake. Class, Null. Threat, Moderate. Containment, Moderate. Utility, Low. After the elimination of the Wendigo, a new creature has seemingly taken its place in the Midwest of America and Southern Canada. Humanoid in shape, the rake has varying size limbs but usually conforms to a white pasty color skin. Rakes hunt at night and humans are their favorite prey. Rakes are susceptible to gunfire, yet are incredibly agile and thus hard to shoot. The research goal this year is finding out the cause of their resurgence and the correlation after the Wendigo eradication. 
is there a point of taking out entities, if there is always a bigger fish? A brief quiz will oh, now no. begin. This is so hard, that was so much information. If they're gonna ask me the numbers, I swear begin. to God. Uh, this uh, looks like a rake. I see, the pictures are important. These are Matronics. Five Five Nights at Freddy's. That looks like shadow people. Skinwalker. Uh, Rake, I guess. A child of an angel has been taken by a Matronic. What should you do? Follow it to find origin. Capture and follow, follow it. What gives away that this entity is the skinwalker? Uh, demeanor. They're stand upwards figure because they're standing weird, right? But isn't that the same thing as demeanor? Shadow people kill their prey after how long? Many years, one to three years, right? It said. Rake has approached you during a mission. All you have is a service pistol. Are you able to terminate the entity? No, terminate self. Wait, they were they were super agile. There's no way you're gonna hit them, right? You have a child and after watching, I know it said they were susceptible to gunfire, but still. Watching this training module, you have learned your child is at risk of abduction. You should warn family, probably nothing, so you can get information. I mean, it's just a measly pistol against like a, Fucking jumping. I've seen them in Until Dawn. They are fast as fuck. You, that guy got his head chopped off so fast <laughs> in Until Dawn. All right, Entity 101. So now it's time for our full exam, baby. We're gonna nail this one. I know the where Wendy goes, but the they're like final exam thing, right? will now begin. A mixture of content from previous modules. Content. All right. Begin. Uh, what the oh, I have to click face. Oh my god, they're just gonna do it without even introducing the categories. What the fuck? Did you check the latch? Did you check the latch? Or an entity has a threatening appearance. What should you do? Uh. Run away. Collect evidence. I think always collect evidence. Doesn't look like threat. Yeah, the one on the right. Right? You have encountered a Matronic during a mission. Are you in danger? No. The fuck is this, man? Okay, well, I don't really have an option. <laughs> I mean, it's gotta be that one, right? Here's the correct entity, shadow people. Your co-worker, who you consider a good friend, seems to be infected by something you want to save him, but you know it's your duty to put him down. This is an example of which principle we need to keep in mind. Uh, do not befriend co-workers. Are you serious? This is fucking hard, man. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. 
A group of entities have kidnapped children. Your mission protocol is only to observe from a distance. What should you do? Observe. I did insane. That one typing mini game was so impossible. What did it say? I I want your skin or some. Oh. Stop watching before they find you. Uh oh. Ah, uh, too late. Hey, that was super cool. I love that one. That is like the most. Because I've played quite a few games that are like that. Like Mandela catalog style and uh, exams, but they're always way too short. They're always like just have a bunch of fucked up faces, click up one of them, like they don't really innovate. This one, I thought of I really like the typing actually. It was very ominous and like very freeform in what you could input. And it was actually very challenging. And there was like so many different things to build up a universe. So yeah, absolutely love that one. Hope you enjoyed it as well. If you're watching over on YouTube, if you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join, I love the game share in chat. You can join us over on Twitch.tv slash We're going to get the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Dude, that was sick. That was super fun. And we did really crazy. We better consider joining the Discord. We better get a good grade for that. 25 out of 26. I wonder if it's random or if it's... Does anyone... Has anyone seen anyone else play that? Is it randomized or is it the same test every time? It might be the same test every time. Has no one has seen another person play that? Uh, we have one more demo. We have a little bit of time. It's the same test. That makes sense. Dude, I need to watch other people. <laughs> Wrong organ. Oh yeah, here we go. I'm kind of curious how others do on that. Because that was hard. What what a name for a dev studio? Wrong organ. Mouth washing. Here we go. <clears throat> um, what is going on here? Love the music. Let's go. It's very low sensitivity. This doesn't change the sensitivity at all. All right, well, let's... Wait, well, does it? It's, like, super weirdly low. I'm just going to increase my DPS. That's way easier. <clears throat> All right. New game. Hello? You're flying? Oni Express Long Haul Space Freighter. Topar. Crew five people. trip. Plan ship and duration is 382 days. A little over a year. Elapsed transit time 147 days. I hope this hurts. Excuse me? What have I done? Ominous. Love the intro. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, I'm assuming that's intended? Yes. I thought I broke the game. Five days before the crash. Early. I did tell you about my sleeping. The stuff you gave me does take me out for a kip, but not for long. I'm only getting something like a few... Oh, oh, wait. Hold on. Sorry. I forgot to recite the company guidelines. This is a lethal company. We do one of these every two months. But company policy... I'll do you one better. Pony Express bi-monthly psychological warfare... Welfare... I thought I said warfare. Psychological welfare examinations. Maximize your potential through a simple medical personnel guided interview. Please allow for no more than one hour of company time to conduct a survey. You! Really? 
Fine, fine. Sheesh. Sheesh. <laughs> Sometimes you're a real piece of work, Captain. Ouch, you wound me, Anya. If that's your professional opinion, do you think they'll they'll still let me fly? Mm, well, in my professional opinion... Um. Whoa, that was weird. What the fuck? Dude, that was an insane effect. <laughs> it felt like I woke up from a dream. Poll says, rise and shine. She's feeding me the LSD. Poll says, giddy up, galaxy. Punctual delivery is our pride and promise no matter where you are. Uh, what is the... Can I rotate the wheel? I cannot rotate the wheel. All right. My professional opinion redacted. Polly says, don't be daft. Proper, proper preparation prevents accidents. Proper preparation, proper preparation prevents accidents. Say that 10 times quickly. It is your responsibility to keep yourself and the crew safe. Polly says, Giddy yeah, this one. Punctual delivery, blah, blah, blah. Are they the same one? Polly says, land a hand. Teamwork is the soul of success when you have completed your task. Always check on other tasks. Uh, we're going rise and shine. Sleep is the best rest after a long day of work. Earn that rest. Don't overdo it or fall behind. Okay, dude. Don't be daft. Uh, don't overdo your rest. Where are we going? This is just getting more and more posters. I think I'm in a dream. I can sprint. Uh, this place doesn't seem... Excuse me! Rise and shine, rise and shine. Am I gonna go backwards and it's gonna be different now? Hi! What the fuck are you doing? Excuse me? It's falling. Okay then. Stuff is falling apart here. Seems dangerous. Uh, you've gained a few legs since the last time I saw you. I close the door on you, goodbye. Valve plays shits spewing stuff all over the place. Wait, am I supposed to just close the door on him and then open it back up and he's gone? Is that what's going on? No? Sir, you gotta get out of the way or you're... Sir? I guess I go backwards, there's no other way. Wait. Wait. Did I close those doors behind me? I don't remember doing that. Where in the hell? Okay, it's just the way to go. Seems more like a submarine than a spaceship. Come on, come on again! Dude, Dad, those effects are so cool! <laughs> Two months after the crash. Jimmy, anyone else would do the same thing. We ain't touching the damn cargo. The hold is locked down for a reason. The only thing worse than dying slowly is not getting paid. But it could be something useful, I think. It could be what? Hopes, dreams, and marzipan? Dude, I love marzipan. <laughs> Shit's delicious. Ha! Ah. You don't have to. It helps us survive. It's worth... If it helps us survive, it's worth it. Man, Pony Express bosses really aren't chill, huh? At all, huh? Come on, a quick look won't hurt. How exactly is this group therapy com committee planning on getting in there? Getting in there? Oh right, oh right here, boss. You're looking at the mean, meanest swing of the regional junior baseball team. Straight up, nearly corked a kid once. I can take the utility axe and you were goddamn born fully corked. <laughs> That's enough, Swansea. 
There has to be an in case of emergency way inside. If I remember correctly from the safety protocols, the door should have an alternative ac alternate alternate access code. But it can only be uncovered using a code scanner device. And only the captain has access to the scanner. Of course, go ahead and ask him all about it then. Maybe he'll sing you the blues too. <laughs> we don't need him if we find the scanner. Get the code and open the hold. For better or worse, I'm captain now. I'll figure it out. Right on. Dice, okay. Uh, okie dokie. Acquire code scanner. Get it. Okay. This is like a children's... <laughs> children's spaceship. I mean, it's called Pony Express. Polly says... Are you working hard? Or hardly working? <laughs> Are you working hard or hardly working? <laughs> They actually sell plushies of this guy for kids. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Very heavy footsteps this guy got. Uh, boom. I need to put stuff in there. I right, put some stuff in there and something happens. I need to acquire a code scanner. Yeah. Right, can't go that way, but I want to talk to you first if I can. Polly says, I love working on Tupor. It means I have a lot of friends. It also means I have responsibilities. Always remember to log your hours. Yay! <laughs> I love working on Dolpar. <laughs> Amazing. Hello there. Looks like it'll be soup again for dinner. You want a rock, paper, scissors for the chicken noodle? How much food do we have left? I'd say like four month ish. Hmm, less than the remaining air supply, but we can make it last, in theory. We'll be starting to poke new holes in our belts pretty soon to pull that off. Man, my mom straight up will straight up stuff me when I get back. It'll I'll look like Swansea. We'll have a rad story to tell, though. They might even write articles about us. We could be on TV. Oh, it'll impress the ladies, too. God damn it, Jimmy. Hell yeah. The real problem is us running out of toilet paper. Fatal stuff, man. We should leave that part out of the press. <laughs> All right. What are you gonna do then, huh? What is this? Is this a, like weird phone? Hi. Um. Hello? Who are you? Poke him in the eyeball. Looks so pokeable. <laughs> he looks a little in pain. He doesn't want to keep still anymore. What about the painkillers? It just hurts him so much. I can't. Is that the captain? I can't stand the noise. You did make it through nursing school, right? Pony Express sure does know how to cut corners, if nothing else. Um, I was thinking we never went back into the cockpit after we dragged him out. It's almost entirely foamed up. Kind of a miracle Curly didn't end up fossilized. It could still be unstable. I just think, well, it's the only place the code scanner could be. Otherwise, we're shit out of luck. I'll take a look. I know you'll figure it out, Jimmy. You're so capable. <laughs> oh, also, well, um, I was hoping you could help me with the captain. Curly. Right, sorry. With Curly's medication. People have to be worth, uh, worth their titles? Damn, dude. Jimmy sucks. Don't you think, Nurse Anya? Yeah, yeah, forget I asked. I'll take care of it. He's like, this guy is no longer captain because he is in pain now? What the hell? These are all we have left. Sure. Can I pick them up? I, I'm assuming I picked it up. This vent has been busted forever, at least according to Swansea. Probably beyond rack wrecked now. But I think it, I think we're gonna... Wait, what? Doesn't get a signal anymore. It does? Unfortunately, Anya... Oh, it's like cassettes. Unfortunately, Anya and Swansea's playlist survived the crash. Unfortunately. <laughs> All right, check the captain's quarters. Something is telling me we're going to be here for a little longer than four months, and we might end up having to eat a few people along the way. Assuming we foamed this up, because we're like in space and we tried to save the ship integrity. Okay, we need a code. Captain access only. Code scanner required. Use light to reveal the code. Okay, I see. 
Um, we need to find a code scanner first. We can get in there. I am so gonna. Is this our map? There's no map. I'm so gonna get lost. Cockpit? You t oh, wait. Wait, I'm back here now. What the fuck? Is that the only way to go? We want to go to the cockpit, right? Isn't the cockpit through the locked door? So we have to get the code scanner from the cockpit to get into the cockpit? How does that work? Or is there another door that I missed here? Uh, cockpit. This way, I see. You too. Hello there. Can I not talk to you? Ain't you supposed to be figuring out our great cargo robbery? Why are you standing here? None of your goddamn business. Everything is my business now because of Curly. I don't want to keep having this conversation. I'm working here. Blue collar fools can't afford to stop working even when the machine does. Go figure. Why is it? Zoomed in on utility? I'm keeping this crap heap from collapsing on all of our, on all of our sad asses. And before you start, I'm taking a break. Don't you worry, I ain't going over my break time allowance. Ha. You keep Daisuke out as well? He's supposed to be a help to you. You think I'm letting that knucklehead in here after the crash roughed it up? Our so-called nurse nearly skewered her leg when we when the vent hatch was open during maintenance. I warned her, but it's the it's in one ear and out the other. Daisuke needs to learn somehow. There's probably a relatively competent mechanic in there somewhere. That Dini Bopper thinks only with his downstairs long nose. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Just like my useless kids back home. No, I ain't letting anyone mess around in here. He does look like a thumb. All right, Swansea. <laughs> uh, cockpit? Cockpit? I see. This is like... I love... It's always so confusing to me. I mean, it makes sense for, like, video game, I guess, world building. But when they make, like, these these spaceship like when you have a video game and there's a spaceship in the video game they always have these rooms that make no fucking sense like the if you've ever seen like a submarine like a hallway in a submarine is like cluttered with all kinds of storage space and they try to like squeeze as much use out of every little square inch of the sh of the place because it's super expensive to have like a, a a submarine or a spaceship whereas here it's just like a hallway that does absolutely nothing but like have air in it i guess it's just, it's just a game i'm looking into it too much but it always kind of annoys me when they do that pick up code scanner yes uh yeah okay how do i use it f no this whole cockpit is fucked up guess we go back now Something gonna happen in this hallway? What's the point? Why is there such a long hallway? I don't get it. Anyway. Uh, Swansea is back in. It doesn't let me in, though. Lounge is not where I want to go. I want to go over here. Hello. What? Wait, what? Why are you here now? Her nurse should be here. Even she couldn't make the situation worse with her presence. Excuse me? Can I do the thing? Fuck off! I guess we need to talk to her so she comes. I'm the captain, bro. Get out of my face. This is gonna be a chase there. Alright, sir. Or lady. I need you to come with me. Hello. Are you gonna feed Curly his meds? He really suffers without them. Yeah, yeah. His bandages are also looking wet. I know. We're out of fresh ones. Okay, I'll give him the pills. What the fuck? <laughs> That's cursed. <laughs> are you eating them? Oh, I need to put... Use. Hold still, yeah? I don't like this any more than you do. You know what they say. Pain is how we know we're still living. He's a mummy. I can't bear to listen. Excuse me, sorry. He runs to the thing, probably. What? What did we just do? 
Was that the swallowing just hurting him or something? It gave him painkillers, right? Damn, this- how is he still alive? What the fuck? Hello. I'm sorry. We don't have a whole lot of painkillers left. But you still want to keep- Why do you think he did it? Does it matter? What answer would make you feel any better? I have to believe that our worst moments don't make us monsters, Jim. I have to, even in his case. He tried to take us all down with him, Anya. The way I see it, there's two reasons to keep him alive at this point. Guess the important bit is that we all agree to it, for one reason or another. I'm still feeling nauseous. I need a minute. You need to come with- okay, thank you. <laughs> you need to come with me, because otherwise I can't- the guy doesn't let me open the cockpit. That was pretty some fucked up sound effects though, I like that. Good sound effect, yeah, it's very hard to make. A lot of games just don't do... I mean, it's harder to animate stuff, because otherwise they would have also animated it. Hello? What do you guys think we've been shipping? If it's spare parts, maybe me and Swansea can repair the ship and we can get out of here. Right, Swansea? Quit yapping! <laughs> He's fucking Zoomer. That's the Zoomer thing. Oh, get on with it. This is all you. I wanted duly noted that I had no involvement in this. I mean, you're literally standing right here. What do you mean? Are we doing the right thing? Let the let it be medicine, food, or wa water? I have to use the shiny beam, right? How do I use the shiny beam? There. I see. What? Oh, there. Four, five, one, seven. Four, five, one, seven. What the fuck? Um, that's a lot of stuff. Take, does it say take responsibility there, or am I... I feel like it's in there, in the mess of text, There's it says take responsibility. TV time? I want to see the th I know I Throw the his own home and have some capitalist propaganda <laughs> Excuse me Okay, I said if we zoom back around I love that it reflects on the floor. Okay, then. Here, in fact, is the answer to a dream as old as man himself. A giant of limitless power at man's command. And where was it science found that giant? In the atom. A particle so infinitely small that it takes over a hundred billion billion atoms to make up the head of a pin. Just as other millions and quadrillions of atoms are the tiny building blocks which make up everything in the world. Science, Ships. science video. Um. Are those? Those are just lab coats, right? No bodies. Isn't. Ism will cure any ailment of the body politic. 
What does it say? Insum? <laughs> Insum? <laughs> That's <laughs> it's me, dude. Government control, no worry about votes. Name your own salary. Bigger crops, lower cost. Why Insum even makes the weather perfect every day. Yeah, like, what can I say? <laughs> I make the weather perfect every day. <laughs> it's freaking dancing skelly, bro. <laughs> A revolu revolutionary new dental hygiene product. Brand new formula designed to kill bacteria and germs. <laughs> All day fire fresh. <laughs> That's damn vibing. Oh. I was enjoying that. Oh. Two months after the crash. Wasn't that the... It's... This is... Mouthwash? Unfucking believable There's gotta be an ocean of this stuff in here. I can't even see the floor. This is what they'd have five people hauling for over a year? All of this? For mouthwash? The sugar content probably offsets any potential... Any potential as a disinfectant. Disinfectant? What are you... Let me see that. 14% ethanol. Ha! Ha 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 Uh, huh, huh? I suppose we'll smell good at least. That's right, kiddo. You can bet your ass on that. What are you doing? Stop that. Oh, he's drinking. Wee wee! Oh, shut up. I'm just an old codger taking care of his dental hygiene. You hear that? That's the sound of 13 years of sobriety popping like a cyst. <laughs> a glorious, magnificent. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Good riddance and cheers. <laughs> He's gonna get hammered on mouthwash. <laughs> to Captain Curly. Hey, hey. Because anyone could get seriously blasted off this stuff. Yeah, and kill yourself in the process. This can't be real. Uh, there, there's no way. Now we can go out in my style or in style. Daisuke, come here. Anyone ever teach you how to drink like a man? Oh. <laughs> um. Hi. We should have some. Why? It's mediocre at best, obviously. Sometimes you can only get the subpar stuff. That's what makes the really good stuff, well, good, right? Why bother? Hey, we all tried to escape. It didn't work for any of us. I've thought many times, is this what peace feels like? And is it good enough? If I'm being real, it certainly isn't the best. So all I can do is to try and make my life one. I'm not trying to run from all the time. Sometimes I'll be promoted, buy a house, and fall in love. But other times I'll just have some awful fucking cake with my friend. Right now, that sounds pretty brilliant, brilliant, yeah. So if you'll do the honors. Right. Well, let me go find a knife. Find a knife. Okay then. What? Oh, these are all empty bottles of mouthwash. That's all we had. <laughs> They're surviving off of mouthwash. Uh, what is this? It's just more bottles of mouthwash. Um, it's all- we can't even go that way. At least now they get to use all these long, empty corridors to store all the mouthwash. I mean, they could've just put it back in the box, you know? Um. They made a damn mess. <laughs> she could have just put it in the boxes and put it in storage. Why would you pile it up like this? Um. Is it 
Aren't you? You're not supposed to drink the mouthwash, right? You're supposed to spit it out. It's gonna like kill you. You're gonna like shit your guts out if you drink it. Pick up axe. Okay, I guess we're gonna chop the cake with an axe. Feast. Okay, now we have to walk all the way back. I see. That's why there was a long corridor, so we could hear spooky noises. Not the best idea to drink it. Is it like when you eat the gum? Or you're not supposed to swallow the gum? What in the fuck is this sound? Dancing? I'm all. Uh, am I gonna eat you instead? I'm assuming I have to use axe. Five days before the crash. What? That is my professional opinion. Oh, this is where we started. Doesn't account for much, does it? Also, my personal one. Oh, even better. <laughs> great, great, wonderful. I'm not doing this to... Did you ever consider what this would do to us? To everyone? Here's a thought, hmm? Some animals do better in cages. Others start gnawing their own legs off. The rest... Well, they... Dude, that was sick! <laughs> that was super cool! That was... <laughs> I love the style that is that is happening in here. Like all the weird glitchy effect, take responsibility. It's a story about a whole crew who had nothing to drink but mouthwash. That's gonna be an interesting full game. Can't wait to check that out. <laughs> I think that's it though. I think the uh, that's the final game for today. We have one more, but I think that one is like an hour long. So I think that's where we're gonna cut it. Cut it. But we got a few games left for next time when we do indie indie horror night. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Those are some good games. Uh, especially, I really liked Night Signal. I really liked Entity Exam. I liked Hollow Body a lot too. Holston was, I, uh, the second part was very slow. Mouthwash was really good, just very short. Um, and then the other one we didn't get to check out, but we'll do it next time. Thank you guys so much for joining today. Hope you had a good time. I know I did. If you're watching over on YouTube, I appreciate you. Uh, I'm going to link you a video that I uploaded earlier. I'm still trying to upload the damn 60 seconds video, but it keeps getting a copyright strike. And I'm talking to the community manager of that game now to hopefully get it resolved so we can actually play that game again. But right now, everything that I do with that game is getting copyright strike. So it's very annoying because I would love to do more 60 seconds and try to figure out to get a new ending or something like that, but it's just not working out. Uh, if you want to see more indie horror, and specifically Granny, you can check out this video. I uploaded it yesterday. We played the Granny new update if you want to check that out. Thank you so much for watching over on YouTube. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good night. Have a good one. Yeah, if you are watching over on Twitch, I would love to play more. I mean, it seems like they don't want it to be copyrighted. It's an accident. They just accidentally put the songs into content ID which is a bit of a shame. So now like everyone's getting copyright notices, which is annoying. Uh, we're gonna go find someone to raid. Let's go see who do we got. We'll say hi over here to our lovely friend who seems to be playing with some community members. So if you guys wanna join the developer of Phasmo, go check it out over here. We're gonna go say hi to Lavender. I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great rest of your evening. I'll see you around. Sleep well. I love you guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. See you.